Hello and welcome to Boarding Party's Pokemon D&D Campaign. Featuring Bentley Woods CJ Phoebe Wilhelm Milo Ruder and D. Blackwater. I'm Drew, the Game Master for the Laris region. As our heroes regroup outside of Port Thalo's gym, they set out to explore the city a bit more before they hit the road for Ambercrag. Ladies and gentlemen, hello. Welcome. Session 96. It's a bit of a special session for us. Gonna be the last one for us for a while. So you might not see the tots for a little bit. Because there's, there's going to be a new arrival. Some of you have already known this. Some of you have not. But all this to say, this is something of a temporary sunset for the tots. So with that being said, Tater Tots, you have all just wrapped up your Port Thalo gym attempts. Mm-hmm. Some of you did some other extracurricular activities in between, which the Patreon folks will already be aware of. Oh, shit. Oh. And, uh... I wasn't aware. <laughs> all of this to say, <laughs> you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to, anybody that was involved with those. Um, I want to hear about it. But welcome back to Port Thalo, Tater Tots. As you all reconvene in the main thoroughfare. Did you guys do the bank heist without CJ? The what? <clears throat> yep. I'm gonna be so upset. Yeah, we got thirty so million upset. dollars. I'm gonna be so upset with you. you. Mean the casino heist? Yep. Yeah, we all put a plan together. Like CJ will ruin this. And that's <laughs> that was the fear that I was having. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm asking? That's actually what we're doing today at five o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. How dare you? <laughs> all right, but yeah, you all make your way back to the. Outside of the large lighthouse on the on the beach, whatever you've been doing in between your gym attempts and the others is entirely up to you. So if everybody is around, mm -hmm. uh, I, I think Bentley technically was last on the gym, at least in terms of order. But yeah. n neither here nor there. Yeah, uh, they're all. It's entirely up in the air. I have uh, no idea. Bentley's <laughs> going to walk out, and then strutting behind him is a very large. Dugong Rose. Hey! Let's go. Nice. Flanking the right side. And then flanking the left side is a very, very, very large mushroom. Oh. Previously known as Paris Nipsey. Oh, boy! Let's go. Wow. And Bentley got the badge. Two of them? And oh, dang. go. Crazy. Crazy. stuff, nice. ben Bentley's just strutting his stuff, walking out of the gym with two fresh Evos of his elite team. Feeling pretty good about his... His battle chops right now. Nice. There you go. Well, congrats. Yeah. Wow, 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 wow. Good job. Thanks, guys. <laughs> yeah, it nice. was it was amazing. We needed two cracks at the gym leader, but we got it done. Mostly Rose. Rose was amazing. And I'll give Rose a pat on the head. Yeah. She goes, oh. It's just like a beautiful operatic oh. seal-like noise. Wow. It's not okay. as it's not as gruff or really quite as endearing as as her seal noises Oh, were. she sucks now. <laughs> but she does carry herself quite magnificently mm. on just a nice sheet of ice. Mm. She used to be moving at a somewhat regular speed. Wow. She's fancy. Oh, she just is fancy. flopping around all over the place. Yeah. Oh, She's not going, Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> <sighs> No. She still moves quite slowly as she's producing the ice, but it's much right, more graceful. Right. And a massive Nipsey is just deadpan staring at all of you, independently. The eyes are just kind of scanning uh, up and down. Sick. And occasionally plucking at something on the ground and just folding it under the large toadstool on its back. What? Gross. Unsettling. Why? <laughs> Why? All right. Neat. I don't know what I thought was going to happen. Gonna, I'm going to pat the top of the mushroom and have my hand kind of go numb from the spores. So. I didn't think he was going to get worse. Yeah, a number of spores just kind of pour out all over the, the floor around. You see little mushrooms begin to just grow through the cobbled streets. 
What do you think would happen if I ate one of those? Mm -hmm. Probably, probably nothing good. Yeah. Immediate death. <laughs> you, ever, you, you ever played the Last of Us? Immediate mushrooms. Yeah, you ever cool. played the Last of Us? You know that. the Cordyceps virus. <laughs> Yeah, that, it's that. <laughs> it's that, but worse. CJ's gonna walk his way to the top of the lighthouse and just wait for a bird to eat him. Mm. The way ants do. Spread it across like the land. Die. Gross. <laughs> gross. Gross, gross, gross. This so, is how'd design. you guys do? I did it too. Hey! Took, took, took two tries like you. Hey! But I did it. Yay! Congrats, CJ. Yeah, Crash is a man. fucking liability in yeah, there. Yeah, Crash and Chicky Baby are... Unconscious right now, just in hey, CJ's bowl. They really. And Bang is like wrapping all of his body, just like <laughs> swollen eye, big scar forming on oh the other God. side. He's like, Almost didn't bring him, and he was the only reason we won. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Do you alright? I don't, probably not, but it'll, we'll heal him up. He'll be fine. He's, yeah, he's got like crush nice marks all over him. He's yeah. just. He'll be fine. <laughs> he's gonna do great. We do need to go heal, though. Mm. Uh, that yeah, it looks like happen. it. Sure, let's let's walk and talk then. Yeah. Did Great. you guys do it? Did anybody else do it? Uh, Just keep going around. Yeah, I, I did it, but I didn't do it. Unfortunately, I it went both <laughs> times. Um, but got all the way to the gym leader, and he's no joke. Yeah. But yeah, I that, mean, that I gym came was very very difficult. I came close, but got hit hard back to back. Mm. Long story short, got crit twice in a row. Oh, that's literally the only thing that ended it. Mm -hmm. That's rough. Took out both uh, mutant star in one hit. Pain. That's that's real rough. So much pain. Really Ow. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm real rough. Ow. rough. What about you guys? Heaps. Um, I did it once. I didn't get past the halfway mark. Oh. <laughs> Ouch. And my squad was killing it too. Oh no! So... Yeah, you can see William is just drenched head to toe, and it's just like. <sighs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, William was rocking it. Oh. <laughs> they were all doing well. Walks over to bang. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I'm gonna have to um, beef up a little bit, because considering that they were doing well. Yeah, that's crazy. And I still couldn't get past the halfway mark. I was close, but not. Both of my attempts came down to the last hit. Like, I survived. The la the one where I won. You got lucky. I got very lucky. Yeah. <laughs> I was very lucky, too. But I, they were doing great, and still. It was you just got hit too hard? Yeah. yeah. Bomber. Chester, especially. He got two oh. big smacks. I forgot to mention Haka almost, I think, was starting to evolve. Ooh. He had like a the most disgusting small grab my strong hand arm coming out of like the side of him. Oh. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Is he starting oh. to like glow at all? And I'm gonna tap the no, ball. Does the he still hand. have it? He's just oh. a just no, a right now he is battered, beaten, tail between the legs, polywag with one hit point, just going. Oh. <laughs> he was just face carry. down in the street. Hundred percent. Dang. Bro. And I'll I'll return him back. Yeah. <laughs> Mila, you did you did you win? It was amazing. Titania did stuff in like soloed battles on her own. Ooh. Eunice soloed battles on her own. Like I didn't even have to use anyone else. Violet was learning a new move. It was just incredible. And uh, Marley, mm -hmm. the lady with the Pelipper. Said she has techniques to train a wingle. I'm gonna go back and train in a couple days if you want to bring a 100 doubloon. Great time, amazing gym. Did you beat it? Oh no, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you left me on suspense, there, buddy. Well, that's it was very fun. Yeah, uh, yeah, that was a good time. I'm ready to go back. We all kind of called it with water, right? Uh, yeah. 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 Being port, we made the right call. Uh, let's uh -huh. continue that. Let's do that maybe a couple more times. I don't know. If Oh. Yeah. It was good. Yeah. It's something to come back to and try again when yeah. I'm stronger. I just, I don't want to keep sending the same people in there only to get beat down and thrown into the sand some more. No, for sure. Yeah. So, I had to call it a couple times. Yeah. Where I was but, like, ah, no, 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 I'm, I'm done. I tap out. Yeah. No, 100%. And just keep going at it. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. You know the uh, tentacles? Mm hmm. Titania by herself. What? No way. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> wow. Crazy. Amazing. Dang. Amazing.
What a beast. So you know how She's her mom was kind of like, like no battling. Mm -hmm. She really missed the mark on that. <laughs> yep. Yeah. One hundred percent. I was actively trying to call her back because I was like, you can't fight this thing, and she was dodging the lasers and like cutting it down and won by herself. <laughs> <laughs> you were like, no, come back, yeah. and she was she, like, no. Is she out right now? Yeah. Yeah, she's dripping with the ink of the uh, the large beast. <laughs> Just so going. Badass. <laughs> She's so cool. <laughs> At one point, because like rocks came down, she hid behind them so that I couldn't call her back and kept fighting. <laughs> hid from you. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> so good. That's ridiculous. Uh, but honestly, that was probably one of the most fun gyms that I've been in. It definitely beats the new tree one tenfold. Well, yeah. <laughs> I, think yeah, I mean, do. most 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 recent one. I'm just yeah. You know, that, that gym was not fun. I enjoyed it. Yes. Frightened me. I'm gonna go surfing with the leader guy. Oh, nice. What was his name like Cray or something? Yeah. Uh, so p pivoting a little bit, D. Um, mm -hmm. Do you know if there are uh, Pokeballs that work better on uh, water type Pokemon or like Pokemon that uh, I, I maybe fish up? I show him the dive ball and lure ball that I acquired at the mart. Oh. Where'd you get those? Right over there, and I point towards the mark. <laughs> oh, sweet. <laughs> All right, well, that answers that question. I was going to try and ask you to um, maybe make one for me, but if they just I mean, sell them here, that's way better. I can, I can still do that, and I can give it a cool name and a different paint job, and that way it's unique to only you. This is a good point. Pay him to do it, though. Well, yeah, of course. $300 per... No. I like oh it. I God. like the price. I'm it's broke. Good price. <laughs> <laughs> This costs money to... Be no, I'm just kidding. I'd do it for free, and you know that. No. Sells it for 500 Hey, D, I need uh, 10 more of those. <laughs> Here's God. But yeah. Uh, definitely. I can... Uh, if you have uh, some sort of idea that you want to flow by me, or if you want me to just kind of wing it by myself to see what I can kind of come up with, then... Uh, yeah, I mean, uh, f first I need to uh, buy them, and then maybe you could figure out a, a new design, but it, uh, it's going to depend on whether or not I, I catch this big shark thing that I saw, so. Uh -huh. mm. Yeah, I think I'm going to try for that again. I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident. Maybe I'll gym. see it when I'm out there surfing. Yeah, maybe, maybe it'll eat me. Maybe I'll die because this thing's so gigantic. I mean, honestly, it CJ, it was, devour it, was, a whole city. It, it was pretty big, and it oh. swam really fast. You might be, maybe, uh take crash with you oh yeah for protection totally crash did so well in that gym he's definitely a strong <laughs> water type just pokemon in the street face down fucking turd <laughs> <laughs> oh my yeah, he got beat by that sea king it was embarrassing nice. you he lost to the, the king sea of the sea he was not good dude he did so bad king well bro he is the king you of the flipped sea. that thing over its head and began pummeling it into the dirt didn't go well <laughs> what happened <laughs> Crash didn't do well. That's what, what happened. Poor buddy. He's supposed to be like the master of the water. No, no, I'm still just strutting mind. with Rose and Nipsey. <laughs> yeah, so I'm gonna go heal these nerds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I figured we were walking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah it's yeah, a walk. Yeah, yeah, you said that. Mm -hmm. yeah. I I'm, I'm bad at walking and talking. <laughs> we're all. If you're just way back the there, yeah. That's a little, <laughs> little too much multitasking for me. <laughs> I can walk or talk. Can't yeah, do I can both. do both. Yeah. I can do a meet or greet. <laughs> so are, are we hanging out here longer or there's stuff that we need to do around here or what's what's plan of attack for next well the only thing on my radar was to maybe um check out some of these containers that are going to my hometown mm -hmm. and perhaps follow them when they leave but that's all i had on my plate why do you want to do that huh why to find out why your city is dealing in illegal things. Did you miss? There's illegal things. Did you in miss there? that bit? Well, I mean, yeah. it, I mean, it's assumed that there's it, not kosher it, stuff. We, we just want to know why the the tankers of oh. all the Pokemon. Are... What happened? Uh, Carry on. Panel fell. Don't worry. I'll play the X Files. <laughs> <so. laughs> <laughs> what did you say, Ben? Did I miss it? Yeah, I was like, did I offend somebody? <laughs> <laughs> what was it that I said? <laughs> How dare you? It's fine. Oh my god! <laughs> you can't use that word. My child. No, it's just very unsettling when you're, you're just talking and I'm looking over here just... Yeah. <gasps> we just want to figure out why the, the tanker containers of all those presumably stolen Pokemon are going to Ambercrag. Like, maybe it's just like a pit stop and then they keep going, but like... If my parents are somehow involved in mm -hmm. that, I would want to know that. So I'm with Milo on tracking them there, but... Uh, I mean... I, 
the casino was pretty disappointing. I, I just ended up losing a, a bit of money. Yeah. So that, that was kind of lame, but I, I don't know. Is there anything else we can check out here? I want to... Maybe we're due to win now, though. Uh, I'm going to guess not, but you feel no. free. <laughs> That's how Milo they with you. a panic look in his eyes. just like scratching himself like, I got the, I got the I'm edge due. now. I'm due. I still have a dollar. I got $100 in free bets, guys. <laughs> I got my, my draft Nitto Kings account. It's great. Okay. What about you guys? You Anything else you're wanting to do? If we're hanging out here, I'm definitely going to try to learn how to surf. But other than that, no, I don't really. I mean, I can mm. always come back here. I mean, I kind of want to do some deep sea diving, see what's out there. I think that'd be kind of neat. Yeah. That would be pretty fun. Be done with that. Maybe I could find the the shark that way. I don't know. That's all I would like to do here. But I mean, that's that's more of like a bucket list sort of deal. Before I, you know, that can be done at any time. Yeah, no, that'd sure. be cool. Just bucket. So. Bring my water types out on the out on the water. I'm sure they'd like that. Bucket. Yeah, and I think it'd be give Haka a good chance to get some more training in, especially with the water. Seems like he was close to gaining some arms, so he was arms. enjoying it. But yeah, that, that's pretty much it. But if we're gonna do Amber Crag, there's water near Amber Crag, isn't there? There's like a little yeah. cave in like the, the like yeah. little, little, little there's river There's like a that like a river. Through there. There's a lot more here. into the mountain. A lot more here. Yeah, a lot more oh. water here for sure. Oh, okay. Well. I mean, it doesn't seem like it's too far from here. And it's not like we can't just open up the door. Yeah. So. Are there any books in the Pokemon Center? Of what kind? Uh, specifically about uh, fishing or ocean fish. <laughs> As a matter of fact, yes. Ah, there are a I few. Asked. There are a few, like... Sporting good magazines for the sort of love that Bass Pro style unsponsored uh, that. uh shop that you've already Basculin been to. Masculine Pro Shops. Yeah. Carpool. There you go. Good save. Yep. I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna flip through one of those probably dated magazines and see if it I is, can. It is a bit dated. Okay. Um, it is largely full of like the one that got away stories yeah so um, a that's, few techniques okay that's basically what bentley's looking for is like the mm -hmm. the one that got away stories and also if anybody else has stories about like really massive ocean fish that they might have tips on how to catch oh yeah each mm -hmm. each story gets progressively less believable than the last okay i'm like i, I saw a fish it was it was like 30 feet long well, and then bentley's, the next one's like it was easily 40. Up. yeah Ben yeah. is going to believe all of it because he has his own crazy fishing story that he believes. Okay. That also happened. Mm hmm Are you taking the book with you? Or are you just thumbing through it? I'm just thumbing through it and trying to see if there's anything uh, noteworthy either about, like, potentially what Bentley saw out in the ocean or if there are, like, helpful tips and tricks for how to catch, like, very large... Yeah. Throw me an investigation check. I shall that book do that. If you find anything. That is a crit. Oh, baby. Ha! You do find some methods for weakening and catching very large and potentially dangerous Pokemon on the line. Fantastic. Um, all, almost all of which involve either having a, a ship with a crew, uh -huh. like a fishing vessel. Well, don't have that, or so that's out. really having like a lot of confidence in both the strength of the rod, the line, and yourself. Mm-hmm. To not just kind of go over, so you, you gather like if you if you bulk up a little yeah, bit, he's gonna get have something behind you. Maybe if you like, if Crash just sat like arms in front of you, just held you tight, you, you could probably need Crash do it anymore. He's got he's got seal. He's right. got a dugong, got but a I got big rose yeah. that dugong. But you gather uh, based on how your your previous attempts have gone with things like Huntail. Mm -hmm. Huntail is listed on the uh, on these these tales of like. Potentially very dangerous fish to catch. That's only it's only gonna hype Stanley up more. Like, well, if I caught Huntail, maybe yeah. I can do So you this gather ocean that fish. Rose with her newly empowered abilities could probably help you catch something quite large. Okay. Just by keeping it there. Yeah. Claremont could hold the rod. That yeah. too. Yeah. <laughs> I don't wanna break it. Rod. I will just enlist the help of every Pokemon on our team. Yeah. That would be sick. It's every, like you're not every fishing fishing anymore. <gasps> Everyone's fishing. I just, I we become the rod. Dee's dad's <laughs> oh my god. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's mine. Just <laughs> he gets passed down. Have like a like a harpoon. Does somebody have a harpoon? Front of it, like Jaws. 
Oh, yeah, this can't be. Yes, um, I do. It's in my backpack. The Red Prince. Did. I figured yeah. if anyone, <laughs> if anyone He's at any point snagged a harpoon, it would be a four hundred foot range, no attack roll. Shh. Also, with um, Stick it just with, whip it out. <laughs> yeah, you done messed up Wait on that her. one. No, it was great. It worked it exactly was. as I wanted it to. <laughs> with the gym badge, mm -hmm. are we able to have more than four Pokemon? You are okay. However. As you've learned from your discussions with Donal, there are regulations in city of how many you could have out of a ball at any given time. Yeah. Okay. To make sure that someone doesn't just get completely overrun. Okay. Keeps it. It keeps things manageable. Okay. I'm just curious if I had to get together a a, a fishing squad, if mm. how many I could potentially. Yeah. If have you were if you are out of city bounds, you can have five out at a time. Those of you that have the badge. If you are in the cities, five out you are limited ball? to three. Um, if you are someone like Donal, who is a peddler of goods, you are limited to one at a time. Okay. Five that's out. why he was calling them in and out. Got it. Five out of the ball. Five out of the ball. Saying. These okay. two are able to have five out of the ball in the wilderness. In the wilderness. But okay. as soon as you come into a city, two of them will automatically be recalled back for you at random. Okay. Unless you choose to do it beforehand. There okay. are, and you guys have kind of noticed, but it's never been a thing before. You have noticed there are little checkpoints as you walk into a city uh -huh. where balls are checked, cataloged, and, uh, and move on. Okay. Um, it oh. also limits criminal activity from groups like Team Rocket from mm. walking through with a ball that is registered to another trainer. What is Claremont's strength modifier? I believe it's three. Should be he should have a sixteen pretty well across the board. Um. So are we gonna go to that? Does is anybody trying to get rid of people before we move on? What? I hate to phrase it that way, but yeah. What do you mean, get rid of people? Well, we're going to sell you, Donal? CJ. Trade with Donal. You're going to sell me? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, we you talked can to sell we, people we, now? We, we, we kind of talked like about it. try to sell me food. We found a bounce I'll fight go for that you. Trade. Yeah, we talked about it, and we just decided that. <laughs> I will fight all of you. <laughs> we found this is not a funny joke. I was uh, dead or alive for this Team Rocket kid, and as a price I too ridiculous. I do not like door. this joke at all. <laughs> Yeah, there's a wanted poster for you. guys are joking, right? <laughs> yeah, your dad called my dad. Yeah, and was yeah. like, oh hey, my god, <laughs> it's already <laughs> done. coming too real. Like, like, guys, it's not funny anymore, we're, guys. We're totally joking. Come this way. <laughs> follow us. Come here. Follow, follow us down this <laughs> dark alleyway, please. <laughs> hate all you. We're not friends anymore. Oh, As man. bag slips over his head. <laughs> too funny, too funny. All right, chloroform? <laughs> I got it. It's just uh, a prank, bro. <laughs> Social experiment. Actually, chloroform. It's just a prank, bro. Why are you so mad? Not, it's really not cool. We're just, we're just showing you how easy this is. It's so funny. <laughs> Fucking hate you guys. I thought we were friends. Uh, you thought the wrong. Are you still? <laughs> so Who are you? Russian now? It's the longest of cons. <laughs> Your uh, father hired me. <laughs> um, were you still wanting the deerling? I'm still interested, but I don't want to shed anybody. Uh huh. So. Are you still gonna give him Kramer? Right? Yes. Oh, you are. Yes. Regardless. Yes. Okay. And I'm not asking for anything in return. Mm. <laughs> I mean, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm in. You're in. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are you in for? What are you guys gonna do? Um, well, I was gonna, uh, allow him to take Cramorant, cause he can give him a way cooler life for Cramorant than I can, and oh, he no. can eat to his heart's content Hopefully. out on the seas. Oh, no. Out on the um, farm. I'm also not really looking at adding anyone currently, mm. um, so, BB had an interest in that, sh in that deer. Yeah. So I would trade. And Galaxy then, deer. And yeah. then give. Oh, nice. Thus, everyone powers. wins. What a gentleman. Well, because she doesn't want to trade anyone. <laughs> yeah. So, <gasps> Who do you guys think I should get rid of? <laughs> Whoa. I don't think you should get rid of anybody. That's a loaded question. Why are we phrasing it like this? Make me I don't reconsider. know. Somebody said that, so I said it. You Sounds said so it. heartless. <laughs> like, get the fuck off my team, bro. Uh, Phoebe, if you end up getting that deerling, maybe you'd be interested in some contests mm. down the line? I feel like that thing would be like a showstopper for sure yeah just standing it's there just yeah i mean all it would really have to just, do is just stand there and people would be like wow that's amazing Ooh, and, first place yeah. <laughs> just 
It just farts. Incredible! <laughs> so, My word, a new galaxy is formed from Drew. Po- yes. That would so be great. So he only does Pokemon for Pokemon? He like does he's... Pokemon for Pokemon. He does not, under any circumstance, take money. Okay, does... He, cool, because he does well, rehabilitation. <laughs> would he be willing just to... Blood tra- diamonds? Just to give a Pokemon? He will, he will adopt from you. Yeah. But... He won't just be... Will he like, adopt like, to hey, us? But, no. No, he so will, it, he will exchange trade. for you. Or you can exchange a service for the Pokemon. That's well, okay. That's more, what it was. more notably, he he's uh, he has offered to pay you <laughs> to go find something for him. Oh, why me? <laughs> so go find a rare Pokemon for someone that has commissioned a capture, or that would be easy for him to find a good home for. Mm-hmm. And you could go that route. But it is payment on delivery. He's not going to give you a thing to then go find something. Right, okay. right. It's go find me something and we can talk. Yeah. But if you take too long, it might be gone. He could be. Okay. Bye bye. Does it have to? It, does that have to be the favor, or do you think? Or those, could it be something? Those are the those are the stipulations that have been sent over. Okay. So if you can come up with something reasonably close to those things, we'll see. I got you. I then D has something. So whenever we get there, I'll let you. Yeah, D has skills, man. Damn it. I want to pit stop to buy a couple, a couple of lure balls. Sure. On the way, I will quickly. say, uh, for the sake of brevity, yeah, what the, what lure balls are twenty bucks a pop. You, okay. <laughs> Dive balls are also twenty bucks a pop. If you want to get any of those, uh, I'll just take the lure balls. Okay. You're gonna go in the manor and manifest the basketball and steal everyone's talent. I got it. I want to be like my got his talent. <laughs> Get some sneaks. CJ's just going to be in there wearing like big combat boots, a flannel and a and a beanie and be like, I'm going to be like you. I'm going to be like you. One way or another. Oh God. How do you do Give it? Give me the tax scales. I'm just going to make stuff and be like, here, take this. Give me everything that you have. <laughs> All right. That's how it works, right? I've seen you do it before. I mean, it works with you guys. <laughs> Swindle you guys every day. <laughs> cool. All right, All right should we go over? And we back yeah. at the dock. Mm-hmm. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's do it mm-hmm. up. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you guys make your way back down to the dock. You still see Donal, bright yellow suit, very, very garish, drawing attention. He's got that sort of purplish pink creature floating around beside him. And he's just calling out Pokemon for trade! Missions! Anyone traveling around? Friends! Hello again! Hello! Hello there! Hello! Hi! What, uh, what, uh, what brings you back down? Your Pokemon. Did something, uh... Did you feel the coal? Something to trade, perhaps? Oh, the coal, yes. Yeah. yeah. It was like, the coal, is there fire? No. Uh, um, you have a coal Pokemon? Uh, uh Pokemon. well... Just a as a lot matter of fact, coal. I do. Um... Um, if you're interested. What? I don't... I'm... I'm gonna I stop talking. Now. Can yeah, I... they'll, they'll throw out a, a very small, w- singular wheel with like a bright glowing red coal for an eye, and it's just oh. like this big ball of coal. And it just goes... Oh. Is like it okay? You, you called yeah. it, CJ. Okay. Look at oh, that. he's perfectly fine. He's, this it's is him just... breathing. And scan. <laughs> yeah, it sounds very, very much like Speed Buggy. Oh, wow. If I could do a better Speed Buggy, it would sound like that. Wow, so beautiful. Yeah, as you, as you scan it, it is, uh, ro- it is rock and fire. It is a roly coly. Yeah. Um, it is capable of traveling at speeds up to 18 miles per hour. Whoa, that's sick. the Pokedex entry that I. That's the only one I remember. Is he right? Why? Is it no. So it's it's, it's about it's about oh, Okay. It's oh, about Yebik. Uh, it unicycle. does weigh approximately 140 pounds. Wow. And it's about this big. 140 pounds. Yeah, it's cool. It's he's like dark matter. Yeah. He's just, it's just this wow. little wheel. That is an absolute unit. Yeah. <laughs> For real. Apparently, at the at the core of this fella is just super dense hot metal keeps him running. Do you just have like all of the Pokemon? Could I ask like any Pokemon? And you just throw out a Pokemon? No, I have a very particular amount of Pokemon. That's crazy. Um, I'm, however, always in the Pokemon. market for new ones. So if you ever are out and you find anything exciting, are you looking for anything in particular? Um, anything that strikes your fancy. Specifically, stuff that you can only find here, that I could then take somewhere else. Here's in well, Port Thalo. Hey, here is in uh, the, the Laris region. Oh, okay. Um. I, I think that where you go and what you do might be a, a, a more suitable environment for my friend Kramer right here, and I'll send him out. 
and, and <sighs> immediately try to keep him from eating whatever's closest to him. Yeah, he's eyeing up the, the little coal guy. Just... You don't have to eat the coal guy? He, uh, uh, 140 pounds of calories. <laughs> he, he's, uh, he's very hungry all the time. My daddy is, yeah, He's a bit of a menace in towns, but I think if you're at sea, he Does could... he like any of these? And he pulls out a little jar of treats. Just kind of flings it. He watches Crowman's pupils just go. I mean, if I'm being honest, he'll probably he'll probably eat the jar they came out of. But uh, Oi. you know, out at sea, he would. He's good at flying and diving and, and eating fish and and. Are you interested for for trade or adoption? Uh, for well, actually, because I'm highly interested either way. Okay, well, um, can't say I've seen one of these up close before. <laughs> I, I wanted to run something by you. Sure. I, I particularly am, am not really looking to get anything, mm -hmm. so I guess in that sense it'd be an adoption. But my friend here, BB, yes, uh, it was kind of interested in that uh, deer that you had. Oh yeah, this know. one. Yes. As soon as it hits, all the all the kind of like midday fog just dissipates around. You can see on the back of the hide is just this beautiful array of like purple and green swirls. Almost looks like uh, Boris's areola. <laughs> uh, across a, uh, a dark night sky. As it kind of swirls about. So, this little uh, deer is just kind of like... It's so so cool. yeah, anyway, it, I don't know if you'd be up for in, like adopting sure. Kramer, but give yeah. adopting yes. the deerling. Here's, here's what I'll say, young man. I'm happy to give you the deerling. Okay. What you do with it beyond that, as long as it is taken care of. Yeah. You seem like a nice enough lass. Okay. I have no problem with that. I'm okay. highly interested in that bird. This is just... <laughs> <laughs> you can see, like, in its little skinny little neck, you just see that treat just fall, just... <laughs> <laughs> well, so like, as far as I'm concerned, you got yourself a deal. Okay. I'll just take care of this little one. I will. I'll turn to Cramrant and just say, you know... I I think you're you're bound for some good eating. <laughs> okay, yeah, it was nice knowing you, friend. <laughs> <laughs> kind of gives you like a big wing hug, and then you realize it's just trying to eat yeah. snacks yeah. out of your backpack. Okay. And you're like, get get yeah, out of here. Yeah, whatever. Starts chewing <laughs> on I'll your arm. I'll call him back and okay. I'll give him the pokeball. Okay. You watch as there's this little exchange of electricity between the ball and. There you go. Thank you. So you see it delivered. She doesn't have a name, so whatever you call her, imagine it'll stick quick. Cool. I don't like it. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> Suck it, feet. And uh, here's a here's a little I'll sack. Have William he'll, steal it. He'll pull out a small pouch and be like, "You're gonna want to find more of this. It's your favorite little snack." Oh. I'll hand what you a little it? pouch. What and inside, there's these little, teeny tiny. They almost look like marbles. Okay. He goes. They're uh they're just little little beads of pure energy. She's real good at sniffing them out, but small stomach. She only needs one every few days. Eat the pure energy. Cool. Yeah, they, uh... What do you think would happen if I ate one? Oh my god. Wouldn't recommend it. Found that out first hand. What happened to you? It cleans the system, if you know what I mean. Quite rapidly. Uh, Good um, to know. It means you're gonna get diarrhea, no, CJ. I... Oh, no, not... No, other way. <laughs> means you're gonna vomit a lot, CJ. I've Quite profusely. Before. Is that... There's no good side effects to it? Not particularly, okay. no. Okay. No, it was... Nearly immediate, and it lasted about 30 seconds. Uh, that is pure horrible. vomiting? Yeah. Wow. Quite, quite difficult to maintain. However, I should say she's completely unaffected by the side effects. Yeah, so and uh, wow. she's quite good at sniffing them out. I could do Why so do you think much that with that. that. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. I've been trying to ask someone to research her, but alas. Did I already scan the deerling? I think quote, like, we quote, both, quote, boy we both did. Okay. Yeah. She what, is do a, you remember what it said? She's like a it, dark type deerling. Okay. There are no other entries. It's the first one in there. The one is, don't know why I said um, that in uh, Donald's I voice. Was, but was it like, here we are. Just was it like one a day? Uh, one, one, every, one every few days, few days yeah. Few She'll few let days? you know. Oh, okay. She'll okay. let you know. Okay. Um, it, it's worth noting you will have to pull her out of any PC system every few days to feed her. She seems to be unaffected by the time problems with pokeballs and such oh but you, you seem like capable trainers you dealt with a cram ramp for that long they didn't eat you so oh, it, sorry it tried. impressive it, is the deerling similar to your friend um in a in a manner of speaking i suppose i'm kind of tap the top of shamrock 
Hmm. They, uh, dearlings, quite happy out in the wilderness late at night when the stars are out. Hmm. Okay. That's, when, that's her happy place. Yeah. As far as I've noticed. Hmm. Okay. You're that one ghost Pokemon, right? Which one? You have multiple? <laughs> Which ghost are you looking for? I don't know. See, you would be talking about the Mistrevis. I just, yeah, the one that we saw earlier, but I, if you have other ones, oh, the I'll, I'll see the other ones. Sure. Too, he'll, yes. he'll tap this, like, pure black Pokeball at his side and. <laughs> this small spectral being with, like, a rose pearl necklace floating around her neck just sizes you up. Hey, how you doing? And then I'll kind of, like, step out of the way and have Des walk up, float up and be like, hey. Oh, hi there. Ha, uh, what? Boss, what is, um, what's that? As a ghost like you, but a different ghost that's not you. Well, I can see that. As he's kind of like bouncing back and forth, and uh, she's mirroring him. Yeah, I don't know what But it is. all the while, just staring through you. Oh. <sighs> Creepy. Are you... Like, really looking at getting more ghosts? I don't know. I thought you were trying to, like, leave that behind. No, I'm trying to, like, make him better at being a ghost. He's a ghost. How can he be better at she it? She just spews this little spectral thought strand over to you. What is that? No one else seems to notice this at the moment. But um, it just... Just, like, touch it? Yeah. I'll, I'll touch it. What, what happened? Message for you. Okay. Yeah. Is it one of those, like, memory strands? Seems to be, to CJ's eyes. Interesting. Did you really think it would be so easy? CJ, make a constitution saving throw. I don't oh, know Jesus. What that means. <laughs> it's pretty good. I gotta look at what CJ's constitution What'd you roll? modifier 15. Oh, you're good. Boy. Look what at is you, happening? You managed to 16. keep your cool if you so choose. Uh huh. But you you do get a little 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 pale, a little sweaty, and your hand is like white hot. Ah. Uh, but you just kind of uh, cover it up, and the mischievous just goes back to doing what it was doing. Yeah, I'm gonna be turned off by that idea immediately. <laughs> okay. What do you mean? So easy? What does that? What does that mean? You feel okay. this little tickle at the base of your skull. All right, I'm gonna like. It try to grab Dez, probably just put my arms through him and like pull yeah. him back. He's like, oh, I've got extra hands now. Oh, I oh come, come back over here. Okay. And then I'll just kind of back up. He's like, oh, it was nice to meet you. You haven't got hands yet. Maybe, maybe someday I'll have them for day. you. One uh, day. Donald, you said you do favors or missions and stuff? For uh, I do, yeah, yeah. If there's anything in particular that you come across in your travels, I'm more than happy to trade for that. Otherwise, I am. I do currently have a commission out. Well, I'm, if you're willing to help. Well, I mean, I'm not no expert catcher. Yeah, what is per it per se? Um, we're currently in the market. I've got a uh, a buyer, so to speak, more of a trade, really. But um, I've got someone interested in a. Uh, I don't know if you have them here. They're called Trepench. Mouth goes up and down like this. Yeah, I think we've seen those before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Hundreds. We're in the we're in the market for. Big one of those, and then there's also a little, uh, little bug fella. Maybe that yay big spews hot fire out of its mouth. Bunch uh, of legs. Huh? Yeah, they call it a sizzlipede. If you run across mm. one of those, happy to uh, compensate for your time uh, or to <clears throat> get your trade in exchange. Yeah, I think we know somebody that has one of those. Yeah, I have a trepinch, and actually uh, there's a... Uh, a town near here, Nutri, they, they were having a, a big old problem with a, a whole horde of... Oh, really? Trepinch. Yeah, they're, they're like eating through all the all the trees. There were a whole bunch of them. Well, now, that is good information, my friend. Thank Enough you. Enough to yeah, trade something for it. <laughs> Nothing tangible, but um, information for information. Is there anything I can do for you? Well, I'm sort of a... No, I'll toot my own horn. I'm kind of somewhat of an expert engineer of sorts. Okay. Um, so I could make you something to maybe help you out with uh, catching if you do it yourself or if you want to give these out to people for yeah. certain profits and stuff like that. I could make you something real nice. Yeah. I usually do have folks go out and get them for me mm -hmm. uh, these days. Got to, you know, too many Pokeballs to manage. Don't really trust the PC systems that much. That's fair. But um, 
Sure, yeah. Hard to say no. Yeah, do you have a certain thing in mind? Maybe I can make you your own special type of ball that you can, can get out and maybe help get your name out and about, about things. Now that is a deal. You get me a couple of those, we can talk. Quite and happy. And just goes, <laughs> and just <laughs> immediately pulls out like small bits of scraps and begins to kind of just tinker with uh, oh, yeah. just a Pokeball in his hand. The Donal Ball. Do yeah, it. and he's like all like like a yellowish gold. Yeah, he's like very, very bright, very bright colors, but he looks exhausted. I will make it like, because I've seen like the golden alluvia ball. Oh, yeah. Right? I'll make it like that. I'll make it like that sparkly gold, but I'll put like uh, a nice bright, like aqua blue D on the front of it. Yes. And have it with like some small blue sparkles that kind of around so if you hold it up weird it kind of gives it like this little, disco ball little kinda. illumination yeah yeah so i'll start work i will for sure i would happily get rid of all four of my basic pokeballs to do that to make it to where it looks like his to sure. trade for a pokemon yeah just take a little bit of time cool do we want to have a quick sidebar if we want to like ask him a question if we're looking at information oh, yeah. on what we think mm -hmm. he might know and what yeah would be uh, rumors asking. rumors for rumors Pokemon for Pokemon Goss? These, are, these are all things he can do <laughs> spot yeah. Goss yeah Goss. Uh, like spot Goss. yeah <laughs> yeah like uh, anything that you've run across that was kind of weird or out of the uh, ordinary that you didn't necessarily take right. with you or destroy. Yeah. On your journeys, mm -hmm. my two. Those are things that he can then send someone out to go get. Oh, okay. I thought we were just gonna ask him a question. See if he you can, can, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, my question. two things, maybe he might be in the realm of knowing, are the collector person that we know nothing about, because I feel like they're kind of similar. Him uh, we asked if he was the collector, and he said no. But then didn't we ask if he knew him? When I don't remember. No. I thought we just did like a like an insight check. If he I believe was the it, collector was and it was just like an insight not. check, yeah. Oh, okay. and, or if I don't he think knows we straight up asked about I... the tradings from here to Amber Crag that could give us a lead on where to start for right now. My two ideas. Anyone else? Hmm. No. Those are good ideas. Oh, thank you. I had a Pokemon related um, question, yeah. but it's not like a like a lore or yeah, I mean, important you, plot question. Feel, so. feel free to pick his brain if you want to. Yeah, yeah. It's not not everything has to be like an exchange. Right. Yeah. He's you've already done yeah. a, like a, a huge trade for him. He was quite excited about Cramorant. So you've got a little bit of like a rapport going. Don't don't feel like you have to trade for everything. Yeah. But if okay. I ask a question and he's like, eh, I don't know if I want to answer that, I'd be like, information for information? Then I know that's a go. good strand to pull. Yeah. Um, do you just figure out a way to put it into the conversation to see if he's done any work with or for the privateers or Team Rocket? Mm. Uh, Team Rocket, no. Uh, can't say I can stand the fellas. They seem to be worldwide, but mostly petty stuff. They just they're, they're not in it for the right reasons. They collect Pokemon for weird... You know, I, I, saw, I saw a news report about a, some sort of, like, aircraft flew over the capital mm. and just sucked up a bunch of Mareep. What was that about? Mm. No idea. Like, what, are the, what do you need that many, that many Mareep for? Yeah, that's a lot. Point. Power <laughs> Nothing something. good. Power something big is all we... Maybe yeah. we can assume. But like, if you're that desperate, just befriend them, you know. I'm saying. Uh, privateers as well. I tend to steer clear of. Oh, okay. Um, you know, they they set up their their tariffs and such, and I pay it when I get stopped. But beyond that, no. Try to avoid them if I can. Fair enough. Fair enough. Bit uh, on the wrong side of the law, yeah. so to speak. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, they just bother you sometimes when you're out on the water with. Terrence? Yeah, if you're uh, coming into the region, uh, you, there's a fair chance you get stopped by one of their vessels. Is that legal? Not necessarily, but... What are you going to do? Anything that they, is anything that they do legal? Um, they do, as far as I've heard, they, they do actually have a hand in a, a fair bit of legal shipping. But it's one of those mm. cases, as far as I've heard, they have a little bit of a foothold in a few regions. They're so ingrained in shipping that if you shut them down, you, kind of you shut break a lot of the things. economy a bit. Mm. Huh. So Fair a lot enough. of the a lot of the higher powers just kind of look the other way. Mm. 
they're not. They're, they're not too violent if you don't resist and press them too hard. They don't. They don't hurt my my group. So I leave them alone. They leave me alone. They get a little bit of profit, and I don't work for money. So nice. easy peasy. <clears throat> fair is fair. Yeah. Well, so kind of in the vein of what CJ was asking, and you just kind of happen to have a, a coal Pokemon. Um, I, I don't have any fighting types on my team, but. A lot of my my friends do, and they're really cool and really strong. And uh, I was also thinking, like like psychic types. All the ones that we've kind of encountered have been really strong and really scary. There's of course Mana, who's not scary at all, but man, she's still pretty great. She's sweet. Um, but I I understand that Meditite is both of those types, it's fighting and psychic. And I don't have either of those types on my team. And I, I was curious, maybe. Uh, there was a chance that you had one of those on your person? At the moment, no, but if I... I could put some feeders out for you. Yeah, so if anyone runs across it, I could put a... It sounds so harsh to say a bounty. I'm trying to think of the word he would use. No, I, I mean, could put just, a, just a, a missive out for you. Yeah, just if anyone runs across one. Some information like the, the turpinches outside of Nutri, if you could kind of exchange... See if sure. there's any kind of location where I could maybe try and find them. Uh, that'd be kind of a cool team member to add. I wasn't really looking to trade any of my team members anyway. I'm, I'm really partial to all Here, my Pokemon. tell you what. But... Um, Meditite, Meditite. He writes down a little uh, little note and there's a little box with a button on it and a little little dull light. Take this with you. Uh, okay. And keep that note there. It just says Donald has Meditite for you. When that light turns green, I've either got one or I know where you can find one. Perfect. Is that fair? Oh. Yeah, that's, that's Very great. Cool. Uh, so how, how do I go about finding you? Will this be like a... It'll, uh... I'll be around. I'll be around. Follow the rivers. I'll okay. be in Laris for a few more weeks at least. Alright, do you need me to send up like a flare or something? I feel like it's going to be pretty difficult to track you down again, but... In that outfit? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> fair point. I guess I, uh... <laughs> you know, enough. I've got ways to, to get a hold of folks and... We've got a, a few of these, a few of these lads and lasses are more than just for show. Okay. And your alien. That too. You might, uh, yeah, you might get a bit of a, bit of a buzz in the middle yeah. of your skull. Yeah, your noggin. Get that. All right. Um, well, uh, I'll but for sure, hang on to this. Thank you. Of course. While I was just, while everyone's doing this, can I do a little quick tinker check? <laughs> Sure. See if I get anything. Tinker, just, to, just check. so I can Tinker, give him check. like an example of what it would be. Yeah. <clears throat> a proof of concept. Nice. That'll be. Are you looking to draw him something or like make it on the fly? Like, so I'm just gonna take a like take the pokeball. This yeah. is mostly for like my painter yeah. using the painting thing okay. to just make it be like, hey, this is what it's gonna do or look like, okay. and then I'll make like the capture rate be down. Okay. So like it's basically just an enhanced Pokeball. Um, shoot, with all my bonuses, that is going to be sixteen. Sixteen, barely. <laughs> you're just you're in there. There's a little, and you just, and you finish the the nice like, it's it's still like matte solids. You don't have like the pearlescent coloration yeah, yet, yeah. but you get a, you get a nice little rough work of it, and you kind of fix it up. Now that is marketable. My dear boy, you've outdone yourself. I'm happy to pay you for these. Um, no, I can make you like two or three more and then we can just do like the even trade. I'm kind of interested in, well, the mischievous that my buddy was looking at. Sure, tell you what, three of these, mischievous is yours. I don't typically bend the rules, but for someone like you, I think we could have a beautiful He's business. He's flexible. Program. And I can, and uh, I will, Assuming Pori phones have a number. This wizard they, over here. They don't. You actually, you just send the Pori phone to an anchored location. Okay. So yours can currently go to Professor Pine. Yeah. And back. P okay. Pine. And it can go to the other Pori phone P-Pine. and back. Yeah. Um, the Pori phones, rather than a number, the Porygons in those phones just go. kind of assimilate and part. Mm-hmm. Um, and they leave a little trace of each other. That Could way they he can... make another phone? Donal? No, D. D. Um, Probably with, with, with Pine. With Pine, yes. Without Pine? No. Be super really hard. hard. Yeah, um, there there are like six of these. Uh, and you guys have two of them. 
Well, if, Sick. if you're ever in Fola and need to get a hold of me, and third of the market, baby. Just uh, speak with Professor Pine, and she can get a hold of me for sure. And then we'll I do. can Pine. And Pine. Pine. then I happen to know an tree. expert uh, male person that could deliver some pokeballs. You're a group of many talents, aren't you? Yeah. Phenomenal. <laughs> wow. And then I will continue to work on the other two. For okay. Me. So I'll mark off those just right now. That way we don't have to worry about it. Do you have any uh, electric Pokemons? Uh, that I do, uh, in fact. Um, one I don't have clearance to throw out in the city. Why? After wow. the last little outburst that he threw. Wow. I mean, that sounds like my kind of Pokemon. It's, um... Are you familiar with uh, Electabuzz? Uh, yeah, we've seen those before, right? Bro. Yeah, I happen to have one of those right now. Uh, it was surrendered to me. Uh, someone couldn't quite keep up. Uh -huh. um, I can't, in You're good like, conscience, can't, can't give it over to a group of no offense children. Well, I'm good at I'm good at that. Um, though. Like, I can like do that. Last you know? owner was put in the ICU. Yeah. Wow! Wow! Um, it's the a risk I'm willing to bit, take. It's a bit tense, and it requires a lot of power to quell its hunger. So. I, I mean, clearly you have some experience as trainers. Show them mm -hmm. your badges. Uh -huh. But I do, I do have six of the eight gym badges. Come back when you have eight, okay. and we can talk. All right. This one's a bit of a long-term project for me. Okay. It's a lot of rehab mm -hmm. work. We got uh it from a higher up in Team Rocket. Oh. When he was arrested, oh. and the foster that he landed in was not quite equipped. Very interesting. And you can so, see there is so... a like electric black and yellow ball at his hilt that is just. So very interested in that. And there's a lock over the entire ball. Itself. So very interested in that. Was this Pokemon's owner arrested in Alluvia by chance? Ah, uh, sorry, I can't say a no. Okay. I just, it found its way to me, um, yeah, just, and the I local authorities was, had handled it I over. I heard there was quite a bit of Team Rocket activity in Alluvia of recent. Oh. I was curious if it came out of all of that well, nonsense. I'll keep an ear to the ground. Still kind of getting the lay of the land. Hmm. But been, there have been folks like you nice enough to tell me a few of the goings on, so I'm starting to piece together. Did you say you had more electric types? One more, I guess, our speed? Because I'd be looking to have something to provide certain power to some projects that I may be looking to do in the future. Um, Dialogue just flies away dejected. <laughs> Later, bro. <laughs> Suck it. Uh, for the moment, I don't. But I do have a bounty out if you find yourself in a hotter climate. Maybe a desert. I don't know if you have one of those here. Um, apparently there's some sort of lizard that suns itself and stores electricity in that way. I'd be highly interested in one of those if you run across that. How about just... You're like, so would I. Pinks. Any... <laughs> Do you think you can put a ping out for me? For something? I can. Uh, if I run across a second one. First one already has a buyer. But... Well, I'm, not, I'm not saying just that. Just a, any, any electric type that, uh, somebody would fancy. No, nothing in particular, just... Yeah, if you if you run across anything, I am always open for business. Okay. And who knows? Stock changes quite frequently, especially here in Port Town. People coming in, going, mm -hmm. looking to expand their horizons or sure. any kind of motions to Electabuzz or offload things they're not quite ready for. Okay. Electabuzz makes the best noise. Hands down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Are you interested any... in a heliolisk or no? Um, or helioptile? No? I mean, anything really. Yeah. Anything that can provide a lot Only of juice. I mean, that electabuzz yeah. would be pretty handy, but I would leave I'm that to my fight friend. fight you for it. <laughs> but I'd leave that to you, CJ, because that seems more your speed. Um, you can use him. But just anything really in general. Gotcha. If it's a Voltorb electrode kind of I situation. Was, he just said desert, and that seemed kind of like where we're about to go. So, so Is Ambercrag a desert? Yup. Yeah. Um, oh. Am Ambercrag... Because I'm super creative, is like Arizona. Oh. Oh. It's just in case. <laughs> it's it's really hot. It's very dry. Oh. It's... That's why I asked. 
Amber, Amber Craig to make it as easy as possible for everybody is like, it's hometown, it's fine. Okay. So, so from what Bentley knows of electric types and dial-up, yes. uh, would it be possible to where dial-up is able to like sense out electrical currents and like find electric Pokemon, maybe? That might be something to have them work on. Okay. Um, that might be something if by chance you ran across a certain missing chip that may or may not be held by a certain individual. I don't know what that means. Allowing dial-up to officially be a magnet. Okay. Could work. All right. Um, while... But back pocket things. Yeah. Yes. While, while D's working, mm -hmm. he'll kind of... He'll grab, like, the portable PC, just kind of reach into CJ's backpack. And pick... <laughs> Swap out the balloon for Kingpin, and he will release Kingpin. Okay. And D will sit down and have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with Kingpin and say, Hey, you were a racer. I'm assuming you like to race, right? And just kind of see what kind of reaction he, he gets. He scuffs the dock a little bit. I I think you are the one of the coolest Pokemon that I've ever met. But he nudges you, keeping very careful care to yeah. not stab you in the chest. But at some point, I am going to need you to get stronger for all of our protection. But I don't want you to change who you are. So if growth with me is what you want, which may change what you are capable of, then let's keep going. But if you're wanting to... Do the things that you enjoy and not have be tied down to this. I'm okay with letting you go if that's what you want. And just kind of gauge where he's at with that. Sure. Does he want to be a racer? Um, Uno reverse card, because okay. I'm not going to make these decisions for you guys. Which I assumed. How does Kingpin Man. feel? You tell me. Leave it up to a roll. Which is what I'm, I'm, which is what I'm going to do. I'll leave it up to a roll. Okay. <laughs> okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'll roll a d20. In in a similar vein for everybody, if you at any point ask me if a Pokemon wants to stay with you, I'm gonna ask you that. Oh, yeah. That's okay. not my choice to make. I'm yeah, not yeah. gonna Fair. make that for you. Yeah. You you justify it. You know your Pokemon's thoughts. You yeah. know their actions and feelings by now. So and, get in their mind. And you will have to deal with the repercussions in character. Pokemon mindset. So odds. He wants to stay a Nidorino and be a forever racer. Evens, he will stay with Evolves D. Evolves right now. Let's go. He will stay with D <laughs> and... We'll find out more. Now that he's traveling. King. Now that he's traveling with a galaxy deerling. He's <sighs> like, if I'm moving, yeah. Yeah. He's gonna find that Moonstone. Bye. So, yeah. He... He kind of scuffs his feet and... Decides that he will miss D... But he probably can't live up to what he wants to do. Or what D would want from him. He misses okay. the cheers of coming in first at the races. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, with a <gasps> quick scuff of his feet and a uh, little bit of tears for the short journey that they've had together, D will kind of bring him back into the ball and uh, kind of just hold his hand out uh, and just kind of present the ball to Donal. Okay. And what are you looking for in exchange? The mischievous? No, I will still do the or... Pokeball. Okay. For the mischievous. But uh, for now, I think I'm just going to just do a clean. Just passing them off? Yeah. Interesting. All right. For now. Donal accepts the trade as, uh, as you and Kingpin part ways. Makes a little a little note off to the side of the ball, puts a sticker over the top. Racing, uh, uh, like racing breed, uh, Nidorino. Just strong pedigree. Yeah, find him somebody that can tame him and show him a good time. We'll do. Please help him cross the finish line. Yes. He'll pass him off. Racing a whole bunch of mag cargo. All then... right. You notice he does write on the ball on that note. Kingpin. Good. The name will stay. I know to bet on him if I see him in races. Just so you know, he's undefeated. So if you want to throw him undefeated in. Undefeated race. Okay, very good. He's like very good pedigree. 
And yeah, he kind of sulks back over to like a bench near the dock and kind of just pulls out his toolkit to kind of keep his mind off everything and continue tinkering away. Okay. To finish off the project. Because I'm assuming everyone's going to take their sweet time with what this is and probably just finish off the rest of them. Okay. Can I help? Yeah. Okay. Just like, you're like screwdriver. Yeah. It to you. Please. That's it. Hold this flashlight. <laughs> Scalpel. D will just say, D, D will even just keep, keep me distracted for a little bit. Just, and he will just have small talk with you sure. while he's doing it. Cool. I'm going to ask a lot of questions about how you're doing what you're doing. Yes, please. Okay. So, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing a terrible job, Milo. <laughs> so, uh, CJ, uh, congrats again on getting the badge you too dude um maybe down the line before we leave the port we could maybe do like a like a, a team contest maybe try it out what do you mean like go do a like in the contest hall do a contest yeah, like, like sign up and do it maybe i don't know if they do like team contests but like we, we could maybe get a get a group together and try and compete yeah yeah, I'm down with that. I don't know how it works. You can kind of walk me through it, but yeah, sure. Well, uh, I mean, uh, I'm still learning, even though I won the first time. Um, but uh, Wimpimble would probably be phenomenal for it. A magic show? Uh, that's kind of what I was thinking. Yeah, that'd be dope. Yeah, well, you know, uh, think about it and maybe we can... I thought about it. I love it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> we, can, we, can, we can plan things out with Wimpimble. Try and see what kind of magic he he would like to do for a big crowd. Sounds good to me, man. Sweet. So a contest might be on the table. Potentially, and if there's In nothing a else that weeks. anybody wants to do, I could. In um, a year's time. I could uh, uh, just head off to maybe like the, the either deep dock or like the crags and crevices of the rocky beaches to try and find like a good a good fishing outpost for sure uh there are the uh docks and piers that you have fished off before or you could do some more sort of shallow ocean fishing on the sort of pebble beaches yeah um actually can i look f uh, at like the docks to see if there are any um like services that go out onto the water like what uh d was talking about with like like deep sea diving or like give uh, me an fishing investigation ventures. check uh 15. the answer is yes but not in a way that would be pleasant for you okay um, currently, the only two smaller vessels that are here do bear, uh, bear the strong presence of the privateer logos. Got it. Okay. I was they just are one of which is the craft that you rode in on, mm -hmm. and the other is docked right next to it, same logo. Okay. Um, but you gather, based on your experiences with these dinghies in the past, they're not great at, like, deep ocean travel. Yeah. There for short-term visits, usually from Falchester to Port Thilo. Got it. And back. Okay. But it's possible. But we have our own dinghy now. You do. Uh, so, Drew, I don't know if you want me to roll, but with Milo's help and stuff with like Milo's that. With Milo's help, I will say, in in rather short order, you're able to get these things done. Okay. And then, yeah. I oh. would say for any sort of pearlescent coloration, it would cost you, like, five bucks for the glitter paint, but... I'll mark it off. That's beyond fine. that... It's easy enough to do with the materials at your disposal. Okay. You've tinkered enough with uh, the Pokeballs to, that if you're just trying to do like a super minor one and you have enough help and time, it's easy enough. Okay. Then yeah, it's yeah, it's going to be the minor tinker, the one that D knows how to do because yep. he's done it countless times. And then just the, mostly it's just the flair to give it. But yeah, then I will take for those sure. and present them for Very good. the ghost pal. Yeah, then uh, for the sake of brevity yet again, balls are exchanged for a mischievous that you are now in possession of. Ew. Interesting. Is anybody else interested in making any other trades for the moment? Nah. All good. All good? Okay. Then the Oops. rest of the day is yours. It's like um, early afternoon. You guys did some early morning gyms. At the top of the lighthouse, are there like the the touristy, like insert a coin and then you can look through the binoculars type deal? I'll say yeah. Okay. 
Because I want to. Be fun. Bentley wants to go up there and uh, see if he can like deduce while looking out at the ocean like where maybe he could tr track down large fish like where they might be um yeah. whether that's via bird activity because there's a lot of smaller fish that are maybe bringing in birds but also bringing in bigger fish Just yeah let's to get a i'll like say a you nature -y climb checks. your way to the top of the lighthouse takes a couple minutes to get up there. Just do the touristy things. And give me a perception check at advantage, because you're using a spyglass, but please mark off exactly one dollar. Oh, snap. For the privilege <laughs> of, of 30 using seconds the of viewing. Yes, it. and then it shuts. <laughs> Shunk. This is a scam. Uh, 17. 17. Yes. Okay. Worse you you do a spy. A group of wingles. Maybe a half mile or so offshore kind of circling around and as you sort of look down you do get a bit of a gruesome sight you do just see just large exposed rib cage of some sort of massive blue creature Blimey. currently being devoured by something as the whole thing's kind of rocking back and forth that poor whale lord well I know where I'm casting my line hey feeding frenzy Get in on that. Get in on that. Question, Drew. Mm -hmm. The mystery of this, what ball was it in? Uh, Just for notes. For now, it would be it would be a luxury ball because everything's okay. in luxury Ooh, balls. Okay. Sure, it was um, unless for a safety reason like Electabuzz, it needed to be in something stronger. Mm -hmm. um, everything that is traded to you or that you trade out. Um, other exception is Deerling is in a moon ball as well. Okay. Uh, oh. Similar to what Mute is in. Mm. Um, and it 20. seems to... Somewhat. Um, you might be inspired to modify Mute's Pokeball thusly, but uh, Deerling's Pokeball, the moon shape that is on there is whatever phase the moon is in. Oh. oh. God damn. So it seems to show the passage of the lunar months. I'm going to become a... a fortune teller. Astrologist. <laughs> what a pivot. <laughs> <laughs> Some scientist. has like a crystal ball now. Yeah. You will be a fortune you teller, time? I'll be a medium. Yeah. It's perfect. Traveling gym yeah, swindle are, people. It'll be great. You're more yeah. of a schmedium, right? I'll be now. the bill collector. The <laughs> schmedium. I'm more of a medium than any other person in this region. <laughs> yep. You're not wrong. Are you, are you sure? Back we Zaggins may or may not good. have killed the other ones. <laughs> <laughs> Back Zaggins was pretty good. You have your work cut out for you. Back Zaggins TV show. is an idiot. <laughs> Back Zaggins. <laughs> oh, blimey. That's funny. I'm gonna like kind of walk. Uh, if the group is kind of doing their own thing, I'm gonna st like keep an eye on everybody, but like kind of walk away over to like an area where they can't hear me and talk to Des really quick. Sure. What are you I, doing? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> hey, well, how's it going? Leave me alone. I'm, I'm right here. As you sneak away, she just gets closer. <laughs> <laughs> um. Did you Did you hear that? Did I hear what? The, the message that the mischievous gave me? You got a message. You didn't even see that? No. Really? Yeah. No, I was talking to her the whole time. You, no. And she was going... Ah. It was weird. You know? Yeah, like... Remember, like, before I learned how to, like, speak? Yes. Yeah, she's going... Ah. I think she might have swallowed a fly, maybe. No, that's not what Something happened. Something in the throat, perhaps. It spit out a message at me, and then she's I touched it. She's a lozenge. Dude, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to be listen, helpful. Listen. Yeah, you got a message. What does it say? It like t it touched my hand. And my hand turned really hot, and then like it, I it it said, "Did you think it would be this easy?" Oh. I don't know. I, How like, kind of freaked like, me out. Singularly cryptic. Yeah. Yeah. But it sounded weird. What do you mean? It sounded weird. It sounded like you. And it got... <laughs> no. Yeah. Well, I mean, it talked like a normal person. Oh. It sounded like it was English. Oh, okay. Maybe it was ghost. I don't think I can still speak ghost, though, because if it was making those noises, well, you, I didn't well, understand. Well, we're talking. Yes, Wait. but you, we've established that you can speak. But what if... Right, hear me out on this. Oh, my God. What if I talk ghost to you? Okay, try. Can you do that? Yeah, do you hear anything different? You, know, you just made your voice lower. <laughs> do, you do, you, do you respond in English? Do you respond in ghost? Well, I'm going to... I. Can I tell if he tried to yeah, actually? Yeah, that was ghost. Okay, um, I would. I just, I'm just messing with you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
That's the blood test. If, if it, yeah, if it sounded like ghost and like I recognized that it was, I would try to respond in ghost. Okay. Yeah, you respond in ghost. So I can still speak ghost? Yeah. It's like parcel tongue. Interesting. As long as you're not thinking about it, you do it. Right. Okay. If you're like, how would I say this in ghost? Nothing no. happens for you. No. But if you're just communicating with Dez yeah. in Ghost, it works. I would I would joking I would think that he just tried to change his voice a little bit, but if yeah. he actually was speaking ghost, then I would respond in ghost. It is a, a yeah, mm -hmm. the, the the ghost language as you guys have experienced so far is very Boolean. You either understand it or you don't. Okay. Uh, it hits your ears and is interpreted one of two ways. Does sure. CJ know that he's speaking it or it's just like he does it because he knows it? Uh, a little bit of both. Okay. Yeah. It works for you because you spoke it for so long and it was such a fundamental part of your being. Right. But the initial mm -hmm. notice that you received was in Ghost. Right. If that helps your brain. Right. I assumed. Um, okay. So, yeah. I mean, I don't know if it was the... I don't think it was the mischievous, though, because it said, like, a message for me. Ugh. So I think... So I, maybe she's a messenger. Yeah, I think it was the grave tender, honestly. Uh... Well, I mean, he does have a name that would, you know, be associated Can with Can I look at sister. my hand and be like, what, does my hand look different? No, hand looks fine. Is it still hot? No. It was, it was like burning hot for a second, but you shrugged it off. Okay. It's just really weird. I thought that maybe you would have caught some of it, but you... Yeah, no. <laughs> no, whatever, uh, whatever she gave you was not out in the world, bruv. Fair enough. Thanks. Um... We're gonna we're gonna do more ghost stuff. I want to see if you can okay. get better at being a ghost. Well, I'm pretty good at being a ghost. I mean, you, man. you developed hands, so you definitely <laughs> yeah, have gotten like, pretty good at being a ghost. I'm, as far as ghosts go, I'm pretty good. Yeah, but we knew this other ghost that could like make me look like a different person. Well, and I want to see you, if you can do stuff like that. You no, know, that's be cool. just not fair to compare. Cause... I know. I'm He's saying probably, I want to get you to that point, dude. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm what, like six months old? Yeah, you're not old at all. Yeah, I'm, that's not fair. I know. I'm just saying I want to see if we can figure out a way to make you better at stuff like that. Oh, yeah, all right. And like fighting in... Yeah, let's phrase uh, it that way next time, maybe. <laughs> you're right. You're right. That was, As that he turns his ghost back kind of to you and then flips his eyes to the back of his head. <laughs> yeah, stuff like that. That's crazy. <laughs> I'm a great ghost. You you are a great you ghost. Don't know. You're incredible. You know, Can you make yourself go invisible? Sick. Love it. That's that's super handy. And then it's just his eyes. Ooh. Did it work? Yeah. Uh, but cool. it's just your eyes now. That's cool. And then they go. Uh, I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> You're great. That's what I wanted to hear. I'm gonna Thank give him you. A, I'm gonna give him a head high five. And then not sure what that was. Walk back over to the group. Okay. <laughs> You, you going fishing? Uh, yeah, I think so. Uh, there seems to be a rather large feeding frenzy happening out there, and that's kind of where what I think I caught earlier might be if it is still hungry, so I think maybe I could try and cast my line out there and see what happens. Let's take the dinghy. The dinghy? <clears throat> Why'd you say that like a zombie? What? What do you mean, what? <laughs> Are you alright? Did you not hear yourself say that? Yeah. What? <laughs> I'm I have no day. idea what's going on. Are you okay? Are I'm you right. feeling alright, D? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> that thingy, it, it like, ba barely doesn't tread water. He said that weird, right? It, yeah, that, that, I didn't like it. Why am I getting the third degree? I literally just said, let's take the dinghy. No, but you were like, let's take the dinghy. <laughs> it was like a thing. I think you're just making it out to be something when it's nothing. All right. Your response to it was weird. Do you need a hug? No. <laughs> I mean, I'll hug you if you want a hug. All right. Come here. All right. <laughs> Do you give him a hug? Yeah. yeah. All right. Into the dinghy we go. <laughs> what? He drags him into the dinghy. Are you, are you forcing me into the no. dinghy now? No. He's just going to walk into the He's just going to hop in and be like, hold on. Let's go. What are you two doing? Uh, it's a fair question. I don't know if that dinghy's going to hold us all. I mean, we were in it before. We were? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh. But we're going to do some recon on these containers that are going to go to Amber Crag. Uh. Know when they're leaving. Maybe yeah. get a, some insight as to what's going in them. Nothing crazy. Yeah. That sounds like more fun than going in that dinghy and watching Bentley fish. 
<laughs> Sorry. <laughs> All right, then let's go do recon. I'm just trying to give people ideas. What? Now you're not about the dinghy? I don't care what we do. It seems so important a second ago. I hate everybody. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it seems so important. <laughs> Oh god. Um, yeah, no, I'm I'm down to do the recon thing or yeah. I don't I don't want to watch him fish. I just like saying dinghy. Do whatever you want. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it comes down to. I just like the word dinghy. That's what's up. Jesus. Okay, enjoy recon. your fishing. Don't die. Yeah, don't die. Do you, need, do you need the keys to the dinghy? <laughs> no, I'm not taking the dinghy. I don't want to take the dinghy. Oh, keys for the dinghy? Yeah, I don't uh, particularly want to drown. How are you going to get out there? You're going to ride Rose? Well, uh, I mean, that's better than the dinghy. Fair enough. Apparently now my dinghy's not good enough for Bentley. Nah, I don't think your dinghy's good enough for anyone. I know that hurts. <laughs> what Oof. is happening? I'm going to throw out the mischievous. Okay. <laughs> that's fine. It needs to happen at some point. Just emerges in this cloud of smoke. You just see the like two, like hot pink irises of the eye, and this like faint beaded necklace, and this big cloud of smoke. Hey. And then all the smoke. As Devin, what the hell just happened? <laughs> uh, all the smoke from around it just closed in, and now you see a mischievous in front of you. Mm. Oh, okay. So it's it just, just presenting just on the itself to you. Kind of thing? Okay. As it, that's kind of just how it emerges from the ball. Big reveal. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I'm all about it's the little, show business. It's a little spooky. I love it. Because <laughs> um, in, they're in luxury balls. They get, a, they get a little bit of fanfare when they come out. Because oh, they're in their ideal environment. Yeah. Um, yeah, as we're kind of just hanging out, and they talk about their recon plans. I just kind of want to see what this thing can do. See mm -hmm. what its specialties are, I guess, would be the way to go about it. I am yeah. very interested, so I'm going to watch all of it. Yeah. CJ, you, you get a bit irritated immediately as the mischievous takes on the appearance of a human being. Mm. Very course. obviously still a ghost, but it alters its shape to mirror D. See, dude? Like that. Just... That's what I'm talking about, Des. But it's gaunt... Almost featureless, soulless eyes just staring through you, and there's still just those pink irises floating around in there. Hell yes. This is awesome. I could use this. You are so cool. Make a wisdom save. Oh boy. Great. I bought something that could kill you me. You take return. <laughs> Wisdom nerve. Oh uh, 11. 11. Okay. Uh, Mischievous, in a microsecond of staring at you, you get this cold feeling right in the middle of your forehead. Mm hmm She knows everything about you. Oh. Oh, yeah. I do would have shared that information regardless. Mm hmm yeah. Blackmail. And she looks around and... It goes, Hello. Man. Hi. Oh, this thing is talking to us now. Mm -hmm. Great. We all understand it. Mm -hmm. oh. All right. Um, I'm probably gonna go fishing. <sighs> well, enjoy your fishing. Bentley Thank does you. like to fish. Oh, right. Des, this is exactly what I'm talking about, bro. What? Des is busy. Are you? What do you, what do you mean, Des busy? Hello, Milo. Bibi. You seem unnerved. Wait, are you Xander's friend? Who is Xander? Oh. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. Damn. Never what mind. did you mean by Dez is busy? <laughs> Where is... Yeah, I'm gonna like look around for him. He's invisible over there. Yeah, but he... Yeah. He's doing what you told him to do. No! <laughs> Dez, come back over here! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> Hey, got another ghost. Did you miss all of this? Yeah. Dang it. You said, can you be visible? <laughs> and then I said, yeah. And then I opened my eyes. You said, I can see your eyes. And I closed my eyes. So you couldn't see my eyes. You much better at communicating. Yeah. You just uh, left me over there. I didn't. I'm not. <laughs> you told me to I closed my eyes and you walked away. That's not my fault. <laughs> you gave me a mission. I followed through. You. As okay. the mischievous just stares. Interesting. Is it back being a mischievous? 
Yeah. Okay. It's, it's no just floating around. Creepy me. It seems to be able to do one or the other. Okay. Cool. This is my friend. Hey. <laughs> Ghosts make this party uncomfortable. Except for she just one. floats down to meet Some your people. eyes, Milo. Uh uh. No. <laughs> she's teen, bro. She's not gonna hurt you. What do you mean she's teen? She's these Pokemon. I assure you, Milo, I cannot you. harm you. Okay, great. I'm sure you That's could. Cannot harm any of you. Oh, you can't harm things? So her eyes linger on you for like three seconds too long. And then you can like, absolutely harm things. That's bullshit. <laughs> no, I promise you my abilities are limited to those like me. Mm. You what? should know. You have Desmond. What does that mean? Why are you speaking in riddles? I don't like when things speak in riddles. I am learning. Ghosts speak in riddles all the time. Yeah. It's so That's annoying. That's her thing. Des doesn't speak in riddles. I don't know any riddles. <laughs> Des is also you should learn some riddles, Des. Des. <laughs> I should. <laughs> Do you know any riddles? Yeah. <laughs> Can you teach me one? Um, I'll like, get back to you. Okay. It's a riddle like we don't need riddles. trying to it's figure out thing. what Taryn's trying to say to you kind of riddle. I am simply <laughs> I learning know. all I can to be as helpful as I can to D. Mm. I appreciate that. That's great. Can Thank you communicate you. with other ghosts that aren't here? I'm not sure I understand the question. Uh, you know, so you can go into like the ghost realm? Incorrect. You can't do that. I am bound here. By this, and she nods towards the Pokemon. Oh shit! All right, well, that's good to know. Very good to know. Not all ghosts are the same. Apparently not. I assure you, we are all quite different. Well, I mean, in the same way as all of you. Yeah. Okay. I don't live in a Pokeball. Neither do any of my friends. <laughs> can, and I can do kicks. Can you go invisible like this? I don't understand the question. Can you make yourself not be seen? No. Oh. Not yet. Perhaps someday. Be kind of neat. You can do it. Watch Des do it. Des, do it again. <laughs> and he just closes his eyes and... She seems entirely unfazed. Des, come back. He's floating right there. He didn't go anywhere. Oh, you can still see him? Yes. That's cool. Oh, she can see things that are... Mm. And Des is like, oh, come on, there's like... Well, one of like three things well, I no, can you do did is it. he's you... holding up his whole hand. It's okay. We I can did only it. do like this many things. You did Come it. On. You still did it. She, she, yeah. she can just see stuff that whatever. we can't see. Yeah, whatever is fine. You whatever. did it. You're good. Yeah, You're good okay. at that. You're good at that. You have a skill that's good. Great. Cool. Thanks. You're you great. a skill. <clears throat> I have a skill. Yeah. I'll just, whatever. You have multiple what? skills. You're great. You okay. just, yeah, you just got another one. It's fine. Oh. Uh... Well, all right. Um. What do we re? What where are we reconning? Um. Well, that that. Oh, well, you're not going in your dinghy anymore. Mm, dinghy. <laughs> well, we could take the dinghy <laughs> and do recon in the dinghy. <laughs> uh, Does the dinghy go on land? Does it have wheels? Nope. Dinghy is a boat vessel. So recon. Yeah. The um, recon mission. BB? The recon mission. Yes. Can yes. We go to recon. Gotta get out of the pit. Recon. Take a look at all the boats. What's the plan? What do you guys want to do? Do you need help? Do you want me to just stay away? What do you want to do? What are you going to do? Similar question. Do you want Do you want a big group for this? I feel like maybe stealth-wise that may not be the smartest, but uh, I'm on board to come with you guys. We could do what we did before and just go up to them and start asking questions. It worked no. really well last time. Yeah, don't no, do no, that. No, no, no. Or no, no, no. we now have two ghost types that can <laughs> scout out things. I, I mean, my initial plan was... This is a pretty big bustling port town. We can probably just watch. You know, they're big containers. Mm -hmm. It's not like they have to be discreet. Right, right. Oh, yeah, there's we stuff can... all around. You're just getting loaded and unloaded. Yeah, we just won't see anything that's in them, though. Yeah, but we'll Ooh. let's... Like, you just want to watch where they're going? Let's identify wait, wait. which ones are going there first. I see. We can um, uh, pretend we're tourists, and you can pretend to take pictures. Well, you are tourists. It's the easiest pretend of all time. Have you made your camera digital exactly. yet? No. I don't no, know. What the hell, D? It's a 4K so, SLR. I have so many projects. Of us. <laughs> yeah. Did you ever know see me create three Pokeballs? I'm not what impressed. What the hell, D? 
Um, but yeah, if we uh, can identify one that's maybe going there, then we can maybe try to find a manifest or something. It's easy enough for the Amber Crag locals to track down. Yeah, we could probably spot a logo seen, or something. You've seen those trucks before you know, many times. Something. Yeah, I mean, you okay. could also just ask Bentley's parents because they probably are orchestrating the entire thing. Well, I don't know about that, but I mean, hypothetically, let's say something like that were to be the case, wouldn't we want to like follow it and know before we asked them so that we could tell if they're lying or not? I mean, evil parent, evil sure. parent, we're already two for two. There's a lot of... Are your parents evil, Bentley? <laughs> this is news to me. I don't think that they're evil. I'm not saying that evil. they're evil. I don't even know that this is bad. Like, we just know that, like, some of the crates are bad. Maybe these ones aren't bad ones that are going to Amber Crag. We don't know. I feel like... I thought that's why we were doing this. Right? Yeah, I just... I'm saying orchestrate as in, like, they're having these shipping crates come to them. Like, why else would I, they be going there, I right? want to know because we've seen... Fall Chester, we've seen what goes on and yes. what, like what's in there, mm -hmm. and then they come here, yep. and then some go there. Now we've heard that they do some legal shipping stuff, and yes. that might just be it. Right, that's what I was saying. Yeah, I just said it different. Okay. Well, you'd probably sure. mix. You'd probably mix it up, you know. Yeah. So you, then no one ever knows. That's what I'm saying. What's so, illegal and what's the illegal? So um, we can we can just watch and either get that peace of mind or confirm the suspicion and pull that thread. Also, which ones of these are going to Olivia? Because those ones are probably the shady ones. Yeah, right? yeah. Because we know Some for them. sure that stuff in Olivia is shady. Yeah, I'm I'm more in, uh, curious about the ones going to my home. Well, yeah. So I I want to look at. Them. Also, we're closer to there than we've ever been. Yeah. So I assume I'm, we're I'm just saying that's go there that's my point. priority. Right. If I can only pick one, that's the one I'm gonna pick. That's fair. Okay. So. Uh, Phoebe, what do you think? You you're you're more curious about this and better at this than me. Better at what? <laughs> Recon? Or like asking the right question and oh. following the right path. Being an adult. Because mm. <laughs> you're older than us. That's it. Pretty much. <laughs> You're just that's how it works, right? Only, your only that's how task. it works, right? Yeah. You, when you get older, you're an adult, so like you, you know have, stuff. You have five years' experience being an adult. <laughs> God. Um, What's your plan, adult? I don't have a plan. Every adult ever. <laughs> High five. <laughs> You're doing it. Flow. You're killing it right now. So good. <laughs> What do you like the recon plan or what shipping? I don't containers? know. You, you did more of this in Alluvia. I thought maybe you'd have an idea of where to start. Like literally anything at all. Mm. Is it just empty up there? Yeah. I have an idea. Okay. I've uh, spent a lot of time just watching people do stuff. Okay. I, I was going to say you should pitch an idea and then I'll pitch an, idea, an idea and we'll do something in the middle. Uh, so like the crates, the crates have like, like numbers on them, I'm assuming, or like markings of some sort. They have like shipping logos. Yeah, that's it. Most of them. There's no like A703 or like anything like that. If you look closely. Yeah. Okay. They have like numbers and stuff on them. So like we watch a couple numbers, see if those numbers go to your house, <laughs> see if the numbers go other places. I will reiterate, it's easy for the Amber Craig local kids to spot the stuff that's going there. Yes. There's only a company that ships into Ambercrack. All right, so you know okay. that logo, so obviously... So we know which ones are You know are which ones there. are going to go yeah. to your house then. What so are we, we even doing? So we need to work backwards then. So we can see if these ones, like, oh, I recognize that one. That's going to Ambercrack. And then see if we can work backwards. Like, where did that crate come from? Maybe we can find out, like, what was in it or whatever. But Do you know what of, gets... No, it comes there. You've never like you've seen the crates yeah. before, but you don't know like yeah, you've never, never seen like, what was in them. them. Unload it. No. In the same way that like a twelve-year-old could recognize a Target truck, but not have any Absolutely. idea what's on it. Yeah. That's fair. Mm -hmm. Because if I, God, I feel like the only way you would know where it came from though would be like a log, you know. Well, we might see them emptying a privateer one and putting them in one of those. That's what I meant by like work backwards. Hey, do you think you could just go talk to people and be like, hey, I, my dad told me to start working over here. Give me information. 
Well, I mean, it seems like Mischievous can see things that aren't there. Are it, are you able to see through things as well? Like, can you see what's inside those containers? Yes. <laughs> so what's in there? <laughs> what's in the container? <laughs> Which one? D and D. There are hundreds. Uh, the one right there that says Amber Craig. <laughs> Or, so the specifically the ones that you guys would be looking at yeah. for the locals would be Vanguard Shipping, okay, which Vanguard. is uh, a, a company that has branched into mail delivery in recent years, coming into frequent contact, usually very friction heavy. With what types the of voids family. do they use? They don't. Oh, they use like human couriers, Ugh. and their whole their whole marketing is like, why rely on a pigeon when you could have a friendly face at your door? Oh so my it's God. very what uh, dicks. It's a very like bifurcated system because a lot of people it's much prefer a bird that shows up, drops a letter in your mailbox, and leaves to someone who like bangs on your door and is like, ah, there you go. Mm. Introverts unite. We prefer the pigeons. Yeah. She will she will drift her way closer. Okay. Look through and fly back. What's the word? There are a number of occupied spheres. Occupied spheres? Pokeballs, probably. I believe Fushis. that is your term for them. Bunch of Fushi. Oh! I haven't played with Fushigi in years. I used to sit in my house while everybody was training their Pokemon. I'm pretty good at that, that thing. At a quick glance, there are 1,346. Holy shit. That's a lot. At a quick glance? So it's like a guess? Or... <clears throat> At quick glance. Does it say who they're going to? It does not. Over a thousand? That's a lot. Bruh. That's sick. There that's... are thousands of tiny voices in there. You're right. It is disgusting. Oh, you can hear the voices? It's, yeah. That's, it, that's do insane. They, do they sound distressed? That's so Confused. much more than I thought that would... Blissfully unaware is a good way to put it. Holy crap. Interesting. Well, I think I found what we're following. Are, Are there any markings on the on the spheres, kind of like that? And I'll point to the anchor logo on one of the ships. No, but I don't see these things the way you do. No, that's a fair point. Dumb question. Sorry. No, uh, that's a good question. That's okay. Good questions. Jeez. But, my... but that's all that's in there. Is the that's occupied sphere? There. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Is there any so, more of the, this Vanguard shipping? Yeah, there's a bunch. There's you, a whole bunch. Um, any more that are going to Amercrag, or is it just that one? As far as you can tell, there's three or four trucks currently being loaded. The rest is just kind of sitting on these massive cargo ships. Mr. Viz, can you take a look at the trucks, see what's in there for me, please? Certainly. Thank you. She'll fly back over. Just be careful. She'll return a few moments later. There is a driver in one of the vehicles. That's good. His name is Philip. Oh, you know his he name? He doesn't like folk music. <laughs> What's he look like? I'm not sure. I don't see people the way you do. How do you know he likes folk music? He was Probably thinking it. Thoughts? Oh. He's on the radio. He's like, hey. He kept changing the channel. Mm. But nothing inside the trucks itself? His destination is somewhere called Amber Crag. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Can you find out if Philip likes ska? <laughs> Certainly. That's the important takeaway. <laughs> can you find out what music he does like? I guess. We can make a great impression on Philip. <laughs> Why? So we can assume that these containers oh, are being God. loaded into these trucks. He tells everyone pardon. it's rock, but truly it's K-pop. Hey. Nice. It brings him deep shame. Yeah, I'm a classic rock wow. guy. Really, it's BTS. <laughs> cool. Why lie about it, man? He's well, ashamed. Just walk up, start singing one of the songs. and We could choreograph something, a dance. Oh, shit. Yeah. That'd be crazy. Five kids just roll up and do a <laughs> freaking BTS dance in front of the guy who's like closet BTS lover. <laughs> D, I should inform you he intends to leave with his vehicle shortly. Oh, snap. So if your following... intention is to follow, you should make... Preparations now. Do you have uh, time How are we following? Approximately three minutes, 14 seconds ago. Yikes. Okay. All right, so Thank do you. we want to get on Ooh. that truck? Yes. We oh, are going to get on, on it? it? Yeah. I was going to have Derby follow it and like follow like in a tire track and just follow it the way there. Then we can just follow Derby's trail. 
Were there boxes and stuff that we can if hide behind works. within the truck already? I'm not sure. I don't see things the way you do. That creeps me out That's a little fair. bit. Just because oh, we don't know how they're going to be received. She can probably only see, like, vague outlines of things. I see energy is a good way to put it. There you go. In a term you might understand. An outline, if you will. It does. Okay. Do, um, do you, like, are, is there anything on that truck other than the crate? Like the shipping container? No. It's just a shipping it's, container? Yeah, it's like a, it's like a semi-trailer. That's how trucks They work. just loaded up the shipping container itself in, and they ship it up. the thing? Or is oh, it like a flatbed like truck? Yeah, it's like a flatbed truck. That's what I thought. I thought it was a pickup truck with like, okay. like the U-Haul. No, the no, it's, no, it's like a, it's a much, bed. it's much closer to like a semi. It's a yeah, long yeah. bed truck, um, yeah. Yep. Gotcha. But they just drop the you containers right on top and Bye. away it goes. Yeah. Because there's not a lot of overland shipping in Laris. There's very, very little. There's like two trucks a month that go to Ambercrag, and there's three or four a month that'll make the longer trek up the river and head their way to Alluvia. Yeah, so we can find a way. Maybe we can get inside that crate somehow. We could try. I don't know if we have enough time now that it's going to be leaving in like a minute. Yeah, that's... You start to hear the... <clears throat> or now. Decompression of some... Uh, well, couldn't we also just see what kind of general kind of direction it goes towards? Like if it, if it goes up towards... Well, going to Amber's home. home. Yeah, I mean, uh, if it's on a truck, it's not going to go up the, the river. Crate? The number on the crate? Yeah. Uh, nobody has been able to see so far. Can I see? You can make a perception check if you'd like. I'll send out Derby and tell him to follow the truck, but keep in the, the tire tread. <laughs> because <laughs> we can just... Why can't we let the truck go, and then we can just go to Ambercrag via mansion and then find this crate? Isn't it like in the morning? It's not we can't yeah, do you've that got, for a while. You've got yeah. several hours till sunset. We'd have to wait until the it's night. It's up to you, though. Yeah. Yeah, but what she's saying is we'll just go Check there. Check it. Because it's not yeah. like it's going to get there super Remember quick. They unload everything like, already. It goes how far is, how far is Amber Crag from here? to the destination of where it's going to be. Huh? How far is Amber Crag from here? I'm assuming we would couple uh, days on fall foot. very far behind a truck. It's if it's a couple won't. days on foot, depending on how fast they can drive the truck. A couple hours. 17. 17! Yeah, you do find the, uh, the shipping number? label on there. Can... You could pick any combination of letters and numbers that you like. I will let you decide. You should make it your pin number. <laughs> and then read it aloud very <laughs> slowly and clearly. <laughs> your social security number. This. <laughs> Seven, wow. Six, eight. Only Tia. <laughs> Only Tia would give us an actual one. It's an actual bill of lading for a truck. Good That's word. amazing. Eight six seven five three zero nine. I was gonna say o two one three four. Send it to Zoom. Yeah. That's Boston, Massachusetts postcode. Don't ask why I know that. There's like four people in the chat like whoa. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm a '90s kid. I watched Zoom. Okay, that's all I know. All right. So yeah, you let it go. You acquire a shipping label. Yes. And you, you guys yeah. gather, if you were moving at a quick pace, you could probably do the run up to Ambercrag in like three days. What if we were riding our Pokemon? If you were riding your Pokemon, you could probably make the run up there what in like a day and a half. What if we took the mansion and riding. get there in the morning? Yeah. yeah. If you took something like Bullet, you because could do it in a couple hours. Why do we have but to fast travel everywhere now? Why can't we explore the wilderness, Why don't Joel? we start walking there, and then when it gets night, we just go. That way we can at least see part of the road, or the trail. And then it's a best of both worlds situation instead of just sitting here all day. I'm happy to sit here all day. I'll just go surfing, or we can follow the truck right now. Yeah, you, both you do great. all hear the sound of the engine turning over and <laughs> heads off north, up the road. Anybody feel a strong way about it? About what? Going not or really. not going right now? Well, Derby's tracking Derby? it, right? Yeah, Derby's okay. going. Yeah. <clears throat> He's a good lad. We, we, got, we got feelers out. So we're not going. Yeah, I mean, I we mean, can still I feel follow like, it. I don't know. What are we going to find following it, though? Your home. Just walking? Exploring? We, find, we, we can find do? Pokemon. Or people. Oh, True. I will actually set up a tower here. Oh, no, I already did that. Mm -hmm. I believe you already did that. I did. Because did it. Crazy. And if not... Easy there enough. you go. Done. But I'm fairly certain we already did. I'm pretty sure we did. I, I think, think it I was marked right. It off. Yeah, it was. You guys got here in the middle of a storm, and you 
Why don't I have my towers on here anymore? Where did they go? They're oh. gone. Oh my god. Maybe you did them all. Definitely not. There's at least one more to do. <laughs> nah. Which is the Sierras. Yeah. There's one to do in the Sierras. Well, Green Gate, too. Yeah. Yeah. You, you already set there. one up in Green Gate? Come on, man. He, he got his mission after. I was just kidding. <laughs> Left home, got all the way there. We need you to go to Green Gate. No! All right, <laughs> so find like, someone what, else. What, 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 are you, what are you... Listen what are you, here. You're just going to watch the crates all day? <laughs> uh, you, you guys have what things you want to do. If, I, I will, I I'm curious. happy if everyone wants to stay here. I'll fly there, watch them unload it, and then come back. Well, that, that's what I was asking if that's what we wanted to do. Are we just going to follow them? Yeah, I, I we think, are the most indecisive. Okay, but in <laughs> here's the deal, right? They're, they're going to go right now. Mm -hmm. If we are all going to go, it makes sense to just use the mansion to get there in the morning so we can catch it and watch them unloading. Yeah. If no one cares... And no one like wants to do it. I will go. I'll fly there. That way, you guys have the mansion to do whatever. I'll just watch them get it, get the information, and fly back. You guys know me. I'm not gonna like charge in guns blazing and try to do anything dumb. You also live there, so why would you do that? Yeah. So I will. I'm happy to go do that and report back. If no one else cares, I'm just saying it seems like a wasted opportunity to not. Yeah, I feel like we should maybe just go there with the mansion. Yeah. And then if it goes to Ambercrag, we can catch up with the shipping container there and then if they unload it there we can see that happen or if they continue on somewhere else we at least know that sure man i just want to see what's out on the road and then we can take the mansion tonight and be there in the morning i just feel like i just got nothing that else truck to do is here. going to get there long before the end of today no not necessarily i mean a truck moves a lot faster than we would okay let's say it does and it gets there tonight they're not gonna <clears throat> unload over a thousand pokeballs out of there by the time we got there in the morning Mr. Revis, when you were in uh, the gentleman's head, did he say when he was plan his plan of arrival was in Ambercrag? A number of hours. Thank you. He was confident before sundown. Thank you. Okay. But still, I don't think they can unload all of that before we would get there in the morning. Uh, it's in one container. so I've seen people unload a lot of Pokeballs really quickly. And then we'd still get to see what's in it. Correct. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to go fishing. Have fun. Uh, yeah, you guys uh, just, you know, holler. Just shout at me if plans change, but all right. Enjoy. Mind the heavy tides. Oh, boy. <laughs> Why does everything she say come out so <laughs> ominous? I don't I like it. I love her. She literally was being nice just now. What are you talking about? Yeah, she's worried about your safety. Yeah, sure. All right. Mr. Revis, do you have a name? <clears throat> I do not. Okay. We'll think of one. What do you want to do? Trisha. If we're staying here? Yes. No, what do you want to do? Like, not... In my life? No. 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 Do you want to stay here or do you want to go? I'm happy to do either one. Okay. The Super only thing fun. that I would do here <laughs> is go surf if we stay. So if you, if we want to go, I'm happy to leave right now. Okay. What do you want to do? I'd like to see what's on the road before nightfall. Like, do a little bit more research for the Pokedex and just see what's out there in general. Okay. Have we been on it. that route? No. no. What oh, do you want okay. to do? That's okay. why I wanted to. Yeah, okay, I see. There. I thought yeah. we had. No, 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 that, no, that route is one of three that is fully paved and illuminated by like street lamps. Oh. Which is, so which nice is why you can make it relatively fast. Yeah. It's not hostile by any means, but there are still yeah, like wild Pokemon. Okay. Yeah. okay. If that's, that's the, the case, they still walk across then the I have nothing to do here. No, I'd rather just go on the route that I've never been on. Okay. Yeah, The your your two options are take the road... Pretty much straight north, and I can kind of, let me show you guys a little bit. We'll do a little bit of a, a just, show and tell. I thought we had done that already. Yeah, so you can either take the river yeah, all the way up, or you could take the road, which follows the Sierras, and then cuts across the bridge at the last moment. Okay. So the choice is yours. Let me know what you guys want to do, because if we're not going to take the dinghy, I'm going to sell the dinghy. Oh, okay. You can just sell it? Yeah. Why? Why I thought you love that dinghy. I just like saying dinghy. <laughs> We're just gonna go to the desert and leave it docked here yeah. for like that is, five months. That is true. You could take, you could take the dinghy up the river and probably get there in in pace with the truck if you wanted to do that. If you want to keep the dinghy nearby, could otherwise we spy on the truck via dinghy. Depends how close you want to get to it. If you want to be like super inconspicuous about it, it'd be a little tricky. So if you guys want, about like a quarter mile of 
relatively thick woods in between. Oh, them. okay. <laughs> you can thick hear woods. it, but for sure. Okay, you guys okay. want to mm-hmm. explore <laughs> and just check the route? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that tickled me. I don't know. That was stupid. What'd you say? I said thick woods. It's Bentley's cousin. <laughs> <laughs> God. But with an E at the end. Oh. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, oh no. <laughs> All right. So we have we have one vote for for fishing. One vote for what thick is... woods. <laughs> yeah. No. I mean, now that's my okay. Vote. So one one vote for fishing. And everybody else is just kind of content to do whatever. It sounds like most of the group wants to leave. Yes, but on like. You guys want to explore the route and walk yes. up there and see what there is. So what's the harm in me getting the recon? And no, then we go do it. Take yeah, our that's time. fine. Absolutely, go, go do okay. it. Yeah, yeah. go do that. Go do that. Okay. All right. Absolutely, go do that. Well, I, I said that. Like, well, we'll just all walk and then do okay. this. And I was like, well, if so we're one, gonna... nah. so okay. one, one flyer, go fly. yes. one fisher. Bye. Three undecideds. No, go, I'm, no we're going on the route. Yeah, we're going on the route. Very good. So let's start with one fisherman. One fisherman. Hello. Where are you going to? Cast your line. Uh, I would take of all the places that have been. I would take Mortar, Evanrude, mm-hmm. uh, Rose, and Klaus. Klaus. And just go kind Chicken of Klaus. to the um, the like rocky outcrop, kind of on the beach, mm-hmm. where I'm like high enough to where like if the tide comes in, I'll still be okay. But like I could prop like myself and Mortar up behind rocks just to have like a bunch of leverage. Okay. Um, and then have Rose and Klaus in the in the water, and then if it's close enough to be able to cast to where that bloated whale oh, that's corpse like, is, that's like a, I think it's is at least like a half mile out to sea. Okay, you can still see the the wingles mm-hmm. carving around. You see a little bit of a disturbance in the waves. So could I have Evan Rood fly the line out? To where that is, or is it just that not would be a little beyond your line? Your uh-huh. line goes about three hundred feet. Okay, roundabouts. But that being said, like Rose could swim you out there if you wanted to do that. Yeah, might be I a don't, little scary. I don't really w- want to put everybody in danger. Oh, you wuss! <laughs> don't give in. Don't give in. <laughs> do it. He's so, not there. Oh, come on. He's man. not there. I'll come still, on, I'll still right. just have Evan Rude fly the line as far sure. as Evan Rude can take it, yeah. and then just kind of plop it, and then see what we can. Yeah, they they fly it out about. Because I still like have my feet. like my lure and mm-hmm. my bait, which already potentially got <clears throat> this thing interested. So we'll see what happens. Fisher sure. guy is just so upset by that. You didn't cast it yourself. Wow. Who taught you? I'm a purist, man. Who taught you how to fish? <laughs> what, was it, what was his name? Like Ricky Bobby or something? Fisk. Yes. Yeah, yeah. that's it. Fisk's rod. That was close. You All right. Use his rod. So, you. Mr. Woods. Yes. As you as you tune out the imaginary voices in your head. No, it's CJ making fun of me. <laughs> of the <I'm> doubters. <laughs> Haters give gonna me, hate. Give me a nature check. As you stand on this... 17. This stretch of beach. Okay. You feel the tide kind of rolling in. Mischievous's words are kind of tickling at the back of your brain. Mind the high tide. As you stand there, you feel there is a very strong kind of like, not rip current, but there's a stronger current than usual pulling out to sea. Mm -hmm. And it kind of gets in your head a little bit. But you realize you can use that to your advantage. As you feel the line kind of giving out you start to get excited, and then you realize it's just the tides rolling in and out. Okay. And then you feel something different. Your line starts to trail out, and you're already... It's about 280 feet out from okay. where Evanrude dropped it. So you don't have that much time to wait. Right. As you see the line starting to reach the end, what do you do? Uh, can I, like, gesture to Rose, like, if she can give me, like, the, yeah, go for it from her vantage point in the water? I'll say, Rose, give me a perception, but at disadvantage, because this is far, far <clears throat> out in relatively dark water that far. Okay, I don't know if I have the, her new modifier be... yet. Uh, you should, yeah. 
Everything should be in there. Ruse. Plus 22,000 there. Holy shit. That's a hell of a modifier. Wow, her dex is plus 22,000. <laughs> yeah, missing any of those saves. That, clearly that's working <laughs> as intended. Not making any of those saves. Gonna need a lot of dice. Uh, Ew, uh, okay, well there's the... She doesn't see any of that. She doesn't even see you asking for clarification. Okay, so She's I'm, just, like, I'm gonna go for it. And she I'm could gonna, cut that down, I can't see. I'll have Mortar there helping me for strength purposes, but I'll Very just good. try and reel this thing in. Alright, then give me a strength check with Mortar's modifier. Love hey. that. Are you just on road? No, I'm He's like the, on the beach, on the beach oh. in the rocks, and then <laughs> Rose and Klaus are in the water. It's a 21. 21! Yeah, Mortar very quickly is able to just like, big arm, kind of get into a stance and just block it. As you're kind of like, hunched out, <laughs> reeling this thing in. Uh -huh. Your legs start to lift up and he uses the smaller arm to just kind of plant you back in the, in the rocks. And just kind of, just hold you tight as you're just... Sweet. You reel it in about 60 feet. You've got a long, long way to go. Okay. Are you continuing to reel it? Because this thing is starting to fight. Yeah, so I want to time it with the current and the waves. When, like, it's going out, I won't do anything. And then okay. when it's coming in, I'll try and reel. Give me a nature check first, and then a strength check. Shaw. The nature check will determine the strength check's DC. Oh, boy. All right, nature. Ugh, a nine. Nine, okay. Give me a strength check. <laughs> oh. An eight. An eight? Okay. You wait for that moment. As the line's kind of trailing further and further out. And you catch it at the last second. You've got about ten feet on your line left. As this thing goes out another seventy. And it's kind of holding taut. And your whole line at this point is just taut out of the water as this thing's starting to swim down. Give me another strength check. Oh, Let's make a break, buddy. 21. 21. Okay. You make that ground back up, but it's it's tough going. And at one point, Mortar just kind of, even though he's holding you down, he like grabs your arm and kind of helps you crank this thing in. Uh -huh. It looks like you guys are starting like an 1800 steam generator. This thing is like <laughs> barely cranking in, but it's a well-made fishing rod. It's not cracking or anything. Okay. Damn right it is. Give me another strength check. Oh boy. That's D's rod, baby. Ooh, mm. it rolled poorly this time. So did Mortar. You said my D's not up to par. Okay. You reel it in another about 40 feet. Oh, baby. It's about, it's about 200 feet out from you at this point. Okay. As you've been kind of going back and forth and back and forth. Uh, let's let's expedite this. Give me a best of three. Go ahead and throw, roll three d20s right now. One, two, We'll just see three. how many you beat. You roll terrible D20. on one and average on two others. Wow. Uh, so that is a 16, a 16, and a 15. Bested on all counts! Let's go. All right. Mr. Woods. Yeah. As you reel in your rod, he watches this, this line's carving back and forth beneath the surf, and you're kind of dug in, and even Mortar at this point is like full stance holding you tight. You start to see movement in the water as the lure gets closer and closer and closer. As roaring up from the sea is this massive, rocky, exterior fish. <laughs> and it emerges at about eight feet long, hovering above the surface. Slimy. And as you pull that line up and it emerges from the, the water, you watch as all the water around it just parts. You can see there's a few smaller, like, magic carp that are kind of like, ah, ah, trying to get back in the water as it, as it disappears away. And you watch as that wave just rises behind it. I'm going to chuck a lure ball at it. Okay. Damn, off rip? Yep. All right. I don't want this wave to hit me. It's <laughs> probably a good call. We'll see. Uh, it's a high DC, but good luck, sir. Thanks. Uh, 22. Ball shatters. Yep, gone. It, it hits, starts to go in, and the fish just slaps its tail, and the ball comes back to you on the beach, oh a little God. dented. Not Get good. Back. Roll for initiative. Oh, boy. Uh oh. Uh, now it's I'll say angry. It's, uh, it's Rose, Mortar, and Evanrude versus Relicanth. 
You're about to get, oh, about to get surfed, bro. So, Relicanth rolled really, really high and is going first. Blimey. Yeah, blimey. Um, yeah, Mortar. Oof. Being that you are the one holding uh, Bentley and holding the line. Right. Uh, does a 17 hit you? Uh, I believe it does. Okay. Oh, yeah. mama. Uh... <laughs> Black Betty, bam, bam, whoa. You take 38 Amber points Amber. of water damage. <laughs> Holy shit. And I need you to make a strength saving throw. How much? 38. 38. He's weak. He's weak to water. Oh, that's water. fair. That's weak fair. to water. So this is doubled, but... Strength saving throw, you said? Yes, sir. Oh, dear God. <gasps> it's a six. Mortar, you are knocked prone and pulled 15 feet closer to Relicanth. As Bentley, you're you're kind of standing there. You watch as the waves coming. Mortar just throws himself over you, and then is just dragged out to sea. He's currently prone under about five feet of water. Mortar, it's your turn. Oh my! You are currently prone. So it would be um, half your movement to stand. And this fish is about ten or so feet in the air above you. As you're being currently just pressed into the beach. Yeah. Relicanth is a scary mamajama. Can he use his movement and his action to stand and then like run as far as he can back onto the beach? Yeah. If you if you dash, you can get forty five feet onto the beach. So you could be thirty right, feet I'm just further than you were. in order to get out of there and then okay. have him run away. Very good. Rose. Oh boy, this is could probably get some more exciting music here. This is about um, the the worst that it could have gone, despite not using the dinghy. I didn't think you were gonna reel in a relic hand. Let's just be honest. <laughs> uh, she's gonna <laughs> oh, try for a water pulse. Okay. Wow, that was a tease. Fifteen. Fifteen misses. Rose, that water pulse goes <laughs> far and wide. <laughs> Bentley. Mm-hmm. Give me a history check. Is this out of your depth? <laughs> I mean, yes. I don't need to <laughs> roll to know that. What? Uh, dirty 20. All right. You have fished this thing up once before. This is the oh, one boy. that got away. Oh, boy. As it swims above you still, just carving its way through the air. Evan Rude. Good Great luck. Life. Oh, boy. The one that got away and came back. Maybe it did exist. This is his, this is his white buffalo. if one yeah. of his Pokemon dies. Otherwise, <laughs> they still won't believe it. Or what if I just die? I like mean, I get pulled out to sea. You're like, he's, CJ will he's full it. of shit forever. Yeah. Uh, you just, you just, just find it like a like snapped that? fist what rod and, a, and like Mortar's ball just discarded. <laughs> he was a liar. Evan Root is going to <laughs> double team and then fire off a bug buzz at this thing. <laughs> bug buzz! So it has, it has to make a deck save. Oh, it's not good at those. Buzz him up. Buzz him up. I figured not. And it rolls a flat 10. Yay. Uh, does some up. That does fails. Some up. Unless it has a crazy modifier, no, which no. I doubt. No, it is, it is a literally a flat 10. It has Very no modifier to dex. Get him! Do 30 damage, baby. Oh! Dang. Uh, 15 damage, and Relicanth is deafened. Okay, there is no change in Relicanth. As you slam into it with Bug Buzz, the kind of shattering goes over the, over the top of it, and Bentley, you notice, it takes the damage, but there's no ears. It doesn't recoil from the sound the way most other things do. Okay. Relicanth is already deaf. Do fish have ears? All right. Not this one. At the top of Relicanth's <laughs> turn, the one. Mortar, you are out of range. Bentley, it doesn't particularly see a point in trying to kill a child. Yet. Um, Rose, yeah. however, you are very... Uh, it's quite peachy keen on attacking you. Peachy keen. Oh, Bentley, um, piss it off. It's going to come in for a head smash on Rose. Oh. That is a crit. Oh, no! Uh, my, Rose! Might die. Rose, yeah. you take 60 points of bludgeoning damage. What is what is her HP? Ow! Uh, 59. 500. 59! <laughs> Bro, that's rough. <laughs> it's 6d10 rock damage. Just, poof, just shatters Rose. As you watch this, the head of this fish just slams oh, into no. Rose, and she just crumples onto the beach beside you. Ah. And the fish just psh, snaps the line in its mouth. It begins to sink back into the water. Mortar, you're up. 
And Mortar's just gonna your call, buddy. Continue to run the towards, one that got away. towards Bentley. <clears throat> okay. And Bentley's gonna call back Rose. Okay. You you call Rose back. Mortar, you make your way in the thirty feet. Evan Rude, doing anything? So as Bentley no is, to hit. is like huddled up with uh, I'm sorry. Mortar and Rose, uh, <laughs> can Evan Rude try and like fly in and like pluck its eyeball? No, like a like a like a loose scale maybe, just like something to uh... prove that this happened. <laughs> Other than <laughs> the massive, like, dent in Rose's forehead. His giant rock. Um, other than Rose being deceased. Uh, I'll say, <laughs> give me an investigation check at advantage because of your many, many eyes. Okay. As the relicanth is starting to disappear beneath the surface and the water flows up. Oh. That seems pretty dang good. Oh, yeah. It's only a 17. Okay. Oh, right. What? Well, still. Yeah, he's not intelligent. Yeah. Oh. You find... A chip that kind of flaked off the top of its skull where it hit Rose. It's about yay big. Almost like arrowhead sized, but it's about this thick of organic rock. Sick. And you're like. And as you look up at the surf, the ocean's completely calm and it's gone. Great white buff. Well, I'm gonna call a back. Crit rocket. Mm. I'm gonna call back Mortar and then go to the Pokemon Center to heal Rose. Okay. Sorry, buddy. When will you learn? I'm so sorry. Stop going off on your own. I was like, this will be a super cool Nobody fight. Wanted Crit. To go. Oh. You were like, no fishing. Go Screw you. Rock I'm head? gonna leave town. So, Rockhead for right. the uninitiated has no bonus to hit, but it does crazy damage if it does. And 60 it crit times. 60 times. I was like, oh. Bro, just imagine if you caught that thing, though. Yeah. That would have been a No, I was like, this would be a super cool long-term goal. But, Mr. Woods, mm -hmm. there's a fire in your belly. Revenge. Someday. The one that got away. You know the bait to use. You know where to fish. The one that got away twice. You know what to look for. Jesus. That's horrifying. And you now have in your possession a deep sea scale. Okay. Ooh. That just looks like a piece of rock, right? It looks organic. It looks somewhere between like like a real rock. Yeah, it, like it, like rock. <laughs> so it looks styrofoam, but it's a real yeah, rock. Yeah, you know, you know, Galaxy <laughs> Quest. You know, the Grignac. Yeah, yeah, it looks like that when he explodes. But the like half of it is completely so just rock hardened rock scale. It almost looks like basalt or something. Right. So and then on the inside is like a, a weird flank steak with just like grit in it. Very, very unsettling. Perfect. But for Bentley, it's a trophy. Great white buff. And you can see Rose has this massive, like, gash bruise over her eyes. She's like, what happened? Yeah. As you get her back from the Pokemon Center and they put a big ice pack on her. And I'll she's just, like, I can make my own, but thank you. I'll just sit with her and ice oh. her head and apologize. Okay. Bentley has become Gordo. <laughs> I mean, Gordo was right. History repeats itself. But no one believed him. Yeah. Until a bunch of kids. I still don't. I saw it. Derby. Oh. What? Give me a survival check. Survival. Derby. Track this truck. Derby. Why do you have to survive it? It's survival to track the truck. It's no, not it's like gonna kill him. Like so oh, he's riding in between the like, wheels. Don't he's just yeah, it's, in between it's, the it's keep, it's keep track. It's not. Like, Derby, so, keep distance, Derby, bro. It's the Derby, same Derby, check that, that CJ would do <laughs> to set up a tent. It's not yeah. like he's gonna die. Ooh. Derby never Derby has also to track crits. a truck Derby. ever again. Derby. Oh God. Nothing is diverting Derby. Mission goes well. Can't divert the Derby. Derby. Yeah. So you Easy. leave the bounds of Portelo. Yeah. You see these tire treads, yeah. deep worn, and you just sink into them, and you can feel the vibrations of the truck. It's about uh... a half mile ahead of you already. And you just zip ahead. You pop up every now and then for air and to get a look at your surroundings. <laughs> and you pop back down and you keep going. And then eventually you hear the rumbling Stop advancing ahead of you. You pause, and you sneak just one eye above the surface of the earth. You can see 
One of the round things that this big box thing was moving on is going... Perfect. Sabotage your great derby. And you catch the slightest, like, footpads oh. a little ways to your east. Oh. And you turn your head and just, like, the faintest glimmer of the back of a, like, large green insect-like foot. Huh. As you kind of fold back in, you can feel, you feel another, like, you hear the vibrations in the earth of someone talking above you. You don't catch what they're saying. Okay. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. You probably wouldn't understand them that much anyway. Yeah. And then you hear this, like, sound and you kind of peer up again you can like see he's got some jet. sort of like other thing and he's lifting this big cube thing with a smaller triangle thing okay shake like, what and while he's doing this you you feel and see another to the other side the front left wheel nice and it's grover <laughs> <laughs> how could you so good job grover derby <clears throat> This yeah. is all happening in three minutes. Wow. As you're kind of just in there, you're like, what the heck is Three minutes going of on? leaving the yeah. port? Oh. It did not get far. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Okay. Wow, 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 wow. So, wow. my question to you, Derby, is yeah. what do you do with this information? As um, you're kind of like, huh? <laughs> there's one, there's one people. Yeah. Operating a triangle device to lift a cube-like device. Uh -huh. Riding on a bunch of circle devices. Yeah. And there's some other thing that seems to be stopping him from doing that. Yeah, yeah. Do you do anything? Do you go back to your to your pals or? No. You he'll just keep an eye. Yeah, he'll keep an eye on it. Um, give, me a, give me a stealth check with advantage because you're okay. hiding in a tire tread. And <laughs> you're just like folding out of the. You're you're Peta from Hello. Hunger Games. Hello. You've painted yourself Peter. to look exactly like the riverbank, despite only decorating cakes for like two scenes. Um, <laughs> and they weren't even good. He's an artist. He Drew. burned the bread. That's his one character trait. Anyways, it would do so. I, I only because we went in and yes, did this. and you have your proficiencies. Okay, then eighteen. Yes. Eighteen. Very good. Killing it, Derby. All right, Derby. You remain out of sight, out of mind. Okay, as <laughs> you just. Keeping an eye on it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Literally one eye. And you watch it. as soon as the as soon as the people finishes cranking up the triangle. Yeah. He hears the from the other side and the whole rig begins to just list Go again. The other way. And he's like Hagberg. And you're like What? Yeah. What? And you kinda like sneak your way over. <laughs> keep an eye out over there and there's another Can't wait for him to just flatten it. Translate that to you. Hagberg. Yeah. Derby's like Spike. Yeah, yeah. He, he gets the intention of what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. But he has no idea what the words are. Yeah. And he's like, okay. He gets the vibe. And he just lays down tight. You're flying on bullet. Yeah. I'll say you pass these three. So we'll get to these three first. Not if I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> I'll run my bird. Sure. Yeah, right. <laughs> you just go and then, as you're running, there's just this. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Plus hubris filled the beast. <laughs> Drew. Yes. Before we let, leave Port nice. Delos, sure. can I attempt to sell my dinghy? <laughs> Just as somebody who needs an extra dinghy? Uh, I mean, you could try, but my there are spidey still some, like... My tingling. There, there are some symbols on it of being a privateer vessel, and there are some privateers nearby that might frown upon the idea. You have access to it. Yeah. But it's not necessarily, like, yours to sell. That makes sense. You could try. You could do, you could do some yeah, deception he, checks yeah, to try to sell it. Absolutely. Boat. Sure. Yeah, I. Yeah. He's not going to be good at it. But yeah, hey, give me. Uh, you know what? Just do. I want two things from you. Kay. One is just general charisma. How'd you do? Nine. Nine. <laughs> okay. I got that. Everyone's like, you don't have a boat. I'm not buying a boat from some kid. And you can see one of the privateers that kind of moored the vessel is just like. And I'll uh, I'll flare up the barnacle jacket coat. He's like, he's like, I'll walk over. Okay. He's like, dude, you trying to sell a boat? I'm not trying to leave any tracks. You didn't leave any tracks. You were never here. We don't even know who you are. Good. Just take this back. <laughs> At ease. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he like 
takes the keys, he kind of like gives the code a weird look, gives you a weirder look, and then hands you ten bucks. And he's like, just, if you needed money or something, like, you just... <laughs> That's all I needed. Here's your stud dollars. Yeah. yeah. Just, just get out of here, you, you weirdo. <laughs> you seem, you seem <laughs> desperate? I don't know. If I give you ten dollars, will you go away? <laughs> yeah. Will you stop? Yeah, he's gonna do that awkward, like, the captain gives his regards and, like, leaves. Like, he has no idea what he's doing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Do I know that guy? And you're just like, one. <laughs> one. Yeah. Ten bucks. Absolutely. Like, Diaz has no idea what he's doing. Heck yeah, dude. I respect it. And then he'll catch up with everybody else. Okay. You run on out of town. Uh, miss, I'm leaving uh, Mischievous out, though. Okay. Just trying to get a feel for her personality. Yeah. You get, you, you, you catch very quiet mutterings every time you walk past somebody. From Mischievous. He's getting a new rug. Just giving that hot goss. Heck yeah. You have a cracked window in your home. Just picking up on things. Small details in like conversations? Yep. Cool. It's it's We're very rarely there. anything useful. Huh? They're all running but she's just Seems like she's getting surface yeah, thoughts of people. Kind yeah. Of like. And it's it's almost uh it's it's like the all those scenes in the Superman movies. It's just all coming in. So if you're in a big crowd, she'll start to move away from people. Cool. And then she'll kind of slurk back to you. But whether you ask for it or not, she's just spouting Saying off whatever it? she's getting. No, good. Yeah. Yeah. D, yeah, D's trying to see where her skill set is, essentially. Yeah. Like, he wants to see where she's at with everything. Yeah. So. She, it doesn't seem like she can dig deeper even if she wants to. Mm. But she did we could work the on thing it, that she did with you. She just... Can siphon... Learned how to speak from you. Wow. So, so she's pretty intellectual then from just mm -hmm. my thoughts? Yep. Yeah. That's that's why she tries to find words that would make sense to you. Cool. So she sees things as energy. Awesome. Something that D would understand. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'll catch up with everybody. Okay. Yeah. So the the three of you begin to make your way Woo. to the north, out of town. Woohoo! Pay You hear road. the unmistakable <laughs> a bullet taking off as Milo's like onward and away. <laughs> Just has a lance to air joust yeah. for no reason. <laughs> I'll say, wave um, manically like they do in Animal Crossing. Oh, nice. Yeah, when you're arriving on the town. <laughs> <laughs> so hard that you like lean over. <laughs> hey! Hey! So, uh, Milo and or uh, Bullet, uh, give me perception checks as you as you carry on over, and we'll get to you in a bit. Okay. Uh. Natural one. Unbelievable. Bro. Okay. <laughs> the sun is in Milo's eyes like always. But it's worse now because he's over the tree line. It's unobstructed <laughs> right at... Yeah, Did you put the goggles on? <laughs> Clearly not. Uh, bullet has Gosh. advantage on sight-based perception. Keen eyes, baby. Mm -hmm. <gasps> Ew. That didn't help much. <laughs> 14. But it did All right. help. Whoop, whoop. So... Derby rolled really well at stealth. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea where Derby is. Anyways, the three of you! Hello. As you make your way out of town. Heck yeah. Anything in particular that you're keeping an eye out for as you step out onto the cobbly uh, roads? Or just nah? Nah. Just walking? Just yeah, kind just of taking it in. in. Whatever, whatever comes up, comes up. Mm-hmm. Just walking. Just take it all people? in, baby. Strutting your stuff. Take There's a few people. In, baby. Okay. It's it's more of a like it's one of the few roads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the people that are here are like keeping to the sides, even though there's like three trucks a month that make this journey. There's not a lot of vehicles. Okay. Um, but there are some folks that are kind of just going about their business. As mischievous eyes each one up and down. Okay. Just I'd... kind of. As they as they pass, Mr. Vis, are they trainers or just regular folks that you can glean? That one has three Pokemon, but they're not with him. She has two. He's got one, but is distrusting. That one saw someone on the river. Huh. That one likes to fish. <laughs> You're gonna get so sick of that. <laughs> oh, <well. laughs> I'm gonna use and abuse it, baby. <laughs> he gave up. Kingpin. They all like pie. I don't know. He gave up Kingpin <laughs> and three Pokeballs. Yeah. You got a mischievous. You got what you wanted. That one's constipated. 
He needs some Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> as in shit in about a week. That one hasn't filed taxes in nine years. Look, like, we're in Olympia. We're on to you, sir. <laughs> so what, what is this whole crime? They're all mad at the rain. I don't know. So the, yeah, the, Stop asking me. The, the point being, if there's an individual, she can read them pretty easily. If there's a bunch, she just gets like a shotgun blast of thoughts. Right. Yeah, and it's just too much right, to right. discern. Yeah. It's like, and it's, it's like... And it's screaming. almost too much with like the five of you there. Yeah. Okay. So <clears throat> she's she can do it and she'll get better, but yeah. But no, I'll just keep her out still. Just as we're passing by moment. people, I'm gonna tell Des to go invisible and like fly as close to them without going through them as possible. Stealth check at advantage because you're invisible. What is this? What are you? Yikes. Good thing it was advantage. For real. For Des, I don't. Know, it's an eleven on the die. Okay. Mischievous will capture a few surface thoughts. That one feels like he's being watched. That one is being watched. Des was a little clumsy on that one. As someone kind of goes, <laughs> "What the heck?" What? what? Yeah. As Des right, comes back, right, right. Pretty good, right? Yeah, that's that's that pretty, pretty solid. That's pretty solid. First yeah, try. That yeah. one guy saw me a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Not really. That's okay. Yeah. I kept my eyes closed the whole time, so he couldn't see my eyes. Well, that's smart. I'm surprised that you can see where you're going when your eyes are closed. I can't. Oh. Ah, that's, that's the best part, isn't it? We're going to need to work on that. No, he's fine. <laughs> you said I'm good at this. You are. I'm good at ghost we're, stuff. But we can always get better. Yeah, but we could go back to the part where you were praising me. It was yeah, good. of course. you. I just said you did a great job. Yeah, wasn't it good? Yes, it was. Yeah. The best. Well, you got to put a butt at the end. It's a great first try. Thank you. Look at Phoebe no look at Mr. Viz like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I don't need to tell you what they're thinking. Yeah, no. They just yell it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> you suck, Des. <laughs> Damn it, Phoebe. Yeah. Try to do a thing. Oh, Build up his confidence. Man. Yeah, CJ, give me a constitution saving throw. Oh. Sure, man. Oh, shit. Uh, 12. All right. <clears throat> All right, CJ. Take two points. Fire damage. Why? Because your hand gets really, really hot. Ow! Oh. It, like, That's sears wrong. almost. Oh! And as you look down, you feel like you're holding, like, a hot piece of coal. And then you blink, and it's, and it's gone. The pain oh. remains. What's wrong with you? My hand hurts so bad right now. And then at the back of your skull... There's just like this weird tingling sensation just at the base. And you're like, huh. kind of makes you shudder. I'm going to pet Mana and be like, you okay? Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then kind of go like this and shake yeah. a little. Okay. You so, you, so you kind of rub the back <sighs> of your head a little bit. There's a little, there's like a little flap of skin almost. And you're like, Ew, Ugh. what? It kind of peels up. You've got this big blister at the back of your neck. What? What's going on? Is this from you? Did you, Mana? Did you? Are you like licking yourself back there, no. creating moisture on my neck? No, I've been sleeping. And then a blister. <laughs> I don't know. It's not how blisters. Yeah. As you kind of like pull the back of your hair up, and you're kind of feeling around at it. The two of you can catch it pretty quick. It's a, it's about yay big. What the heck? That's and a it's, tumor. That's not a blister. And it's this <laughs> big, just bubble of what looks like roasted, seared skin. What the heck? <clears throat> Where'd that come from? I don't know. <clears throat> I just felt it right now. It's huge. Ah. Okay. Can I poke it? What? It you feels focus? gross. For medical reasons. Okay. Yeah, CJ, you take another I'm point. I'm not going to, like, ah, as soon as anything goes. Wow. The lightest touch the and it feels like pins and needles. Stop let's, stop not, <clears throat> let's not do that anymore. That made it worse? Yeah, it hurt really bad. Can I tell if there's something in it? Make a medicine check. Seems like a good, good use of the medicine skill. Lava. Yeah, apparently there is lava in there. That's what It's I'm just full to... of icy hot. Demon <laughs> lava. Uh, where's is there angel lava? Where's that? You said medicine, right? Yes. Who knows? Should be whiz. Are there angels? We've experienced demons. Wisdom? I don't think we've experienced yeah. angels to this. And you point. are proficient with it. So. Maybe. <clears throat> Maybe. Why can't I see? I'm at the healer. Because so it's blind. Tiny. Is that an angel? Or she it was a cool an angel. Pokemon? She fixed Evan rude. It's just a cool Pokemon. Twelve. Twelve? I mean, it kind of looks like there could be something in there. There's definitely like. 
It it looks like a burn wound. Yeah, yeah. You've seen a few of those in your time. Looks pretty rough. There, there's not like an object in there that you can see. No, but like but there's, fluid. there's like there's, fluid. There's definitely like some fluid in there. Okay. Uh, at, at the, uh, in an effort to not gross everybody out immediately, like when you touch it, it does respond like a. You know. Can I tell where this is like coming from? Like, why say. did this just start happening? It's hard to say. Look, from the looks of it, it looks like he's had that blister there for a while. Like and it, it looks, it looks <clears throat> pretty dated. But... You haven't felt this before? Nope. Just now, it's the first time I felt it, and then my ha- my hand started hurting really bad, and then my neck hurt. Oh. And then you touched it and it hurt again. Obviously. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay. <laughs> there's something in there. It's though. all right. I there's mean, fluid. you you know, you know health stuff. I don't. There's fluid. <laughs> hey, uh, something. Phoebe, you wanna help me look for some like uh, burn solve that we can make out of nearby plants and berries and stuff? Yeah. And I will go off to see if I can crumple, like, find leaves, berries, that... and create, like, a burn solve sort of deal. Like a cooling ointment, some Ben Gay, some Icy Hot sort of deal. Sure. Uh, I'll say uh, either both of you or one of you with advantage. Make either a nature or medicine check. I love nature. It's like, my nature's pretty decent. You guys want to roll separately? Plus six. Do a yeah. nature check. Oh, I'm just going to give you advantage. There you go. Mine's just a plus four. Okay. So yeah, Phoebe, go ahead and roll twice. Okay. <clears throat> a bing bong. <laughs> Come on. Don't like that face. Nope. Um, 16. 16? Okay. Um, yeah, you find pretty quickly between the two of you. Mm-hmm. Uh, you spot... This large, very, uh... Spot very... shack. Yeah. <laughs> For powder spray. You find... Yeah, you... <laughs> you find a, uh, a very large, leafy uh, green plant, and at its center, there's this kind of large, almost, like, Pharmacy. pillow-like substance. Okay. Um, and, and you do recognize that the, the two of you both is Althea and Mallow. Oh, heard. It oh, is cool. commonly used in the healing of, like, abscesses and open wounds um, and you gather in this case it'll do um, it's not the ideal thing Put but it, it should alleviate the sort of extreme burning pain that he's feeling okay at the back of his skull <clears throat> cool. can you put some on my hand too your hand hurts too yeah like worse than my neck really is there yeah. anything on his hand can i look at it yeah there's hand looks normal which there's... hand this one is that the one that had the disc in it or the stone or whatever it was the tombstone when, yeah, I mean, I mean, it's all over the place. But when, when I gave it up, yes. Interesting. There's nothing there. I, I don't know what's going on, man. Bentley, will you be making your way to join the well, the folks, or will you we'll be slap on some medicine? Pokemon Center for a bit. Uh, I'd probably be hanging in the Pokemon Center for a bit. I don't even know if I know that they left, but I could. Yeah, we told you. Yeah, we would have oh, told you. you. We told yeah. you that was the plan, and you were like, yeah, I'm gonna go you're fishing. like, I'm going to go fishing. Well, I thought I Peace, just said, bitches. I'm going to go fishing, and then y'all were like trying to figure out a plan for another 18 minutes, but. Nah, it's fun. <laughs> I'll just, I'll continue with Rose icing her head and then call her back, get okay. her and Mortar all healed up, and then once they're healed up, I'll I'll hit the, the old dusty trail. Sure. And I'll just be like, Kind of like flipping the scale over in my hand as I walk. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't take you long to run into these three. They're like yeah, we're, a few we're hundred yards here. outside town at most, and uh, you see Slapping Dee medicine and Phoebe currently like just coating the back of CJ's head with some sort of plant. What are you guys doing? Why would it hurt if it's not there anymore? What? I don't know. I mean, he's having burning. My hand, He's a giant my blister. hand Look. hurts really bad, and apparently there's a b- blister on my neck. Well, there is such thing called like phantom, like phantom limbs. It yes, but I still have my hand. Well, yeah, but technically, as Lord Ridgemont described it, it's kind of like an extension of you, so like a limb. So you could just be feeling phantom pains. Is this all about the disc? I guess. I don't Maybe. know, man. The, he just suggested or asked CJ, if your that's neck where it looks was. Gross. Yeah. Thanks, man. Is it's, this helping? It's rough. I don't know. Yeah, it's it it's alleviating the like contact pain. Okay. It's not really doing anything for the the thing itself, but it's making it not 
such a blistering pain at the yeah, back. Yeah, now of that head. you guys okay. aren't touching it anymore, it feels better. <laughs> okay, note <laughs> noted. <laughs> yeah, you kind of like just tape down the plant to the back of his head. And... There we go. So that that's looks a little good. better. This is fun. It I'll looks just good. carry Mana, so she doesn't have to deal with that. Okay, she's just. That's Great. nasty. <laughs> Great. We'll just hold so, her. Did this just start happening? Yeah. Well. Yeah. Before my hand hurt really bad. What do you when, mean before? When's before? Well, when I asked him to see Mistrevis, and she came out. It just hurt, sir. Not so. She was like, she spit something out of her mouth, and I didn't know what it was, so I like touched it. What? What? And then I heard a voice, and it said a message for you. Did you think it would be that easy? And my hand hurt really, really bad. But it came from Mistrevis? Yeah. But I don't think it was from Mistrevis. Because it started with like a message for you. What do you, what do you think it was from? Uh, uh, Grave Tender, probably. Looking at Mistrevis, is she reacting in any sort of way? Like she knows what's going on? No. She's just observing. Okay. My guess would be Grave Tender, but you know, I, I don't know. So don't know. when when the Grave Tender gave you the disc, what exactly did they say? I thought it was just thanks. He said he said it was a gift that I would be happy that I had one time, one day. Yeah. And obviously, thank you. Yeah. Right. And then one so way. It wasn't like, you didn't explain make sure you me. don't give this up or I'll threaten you and make your hand hurt. No. I didn't even know what it was called until we met that guy in the manor. Yeah, but that, I, I, I don't know. I just, I still don't feel like Lord Ridgemont is a stand-up guy. I don't know that we should have given I don't him think he disc. was at all. But everybody was like, give it to him. So I gave it to him. I, I didn't want to give it to him to in the first tell place. tell you one way or the other. I think it was a good idea. It's a great idea. I was not in pain before. Now I'm in pain. No, you were in pain before. Do you remember when you bleed through your nose? That was different. And your eyes, that was because all my your sister's ghost was trying to kill me. It's different. Uh, <laughs> you did bleed out of your nose quite a bit. Yeah, well, that's also because I was trying to use ghost powers and I was probably yeah, but, dying. Well, that that was not good. Times. Also, this well, I good. was choosing it. These things are happening to me and I didn't choose it. What? You weren't choosing it before. Well, I was choosing to do ghost things, and I'm not a ghost. Mm. So I kind of rationalized that as uh, my fault. Well, this isn't my fault. Regardless, it's done and over with. Sure. That's a good way to look at it. I mean, it is. You already gave it up. It's not like you can get it back. There's no sense in dwelling uh, over it or anything. Right, but we need to figure That's out why his thing. hand is hurting. Why is this gross? No, we blister? don't. We can just ignore it, and it probably won't get worse. And if it does, I'll let you guys know. We're fine. All right. As you say, we're fine. <laughs> just this toxic, like, black sludge pours out of your face. What? <laughs> of course it does. And the blister on the back of your neck just heals itself nicely. And you just vomit <sighs> this, like, black oh, what the heck? bile. <sighs> I'm going to take a stick. <sighs> and try and like poke the thing that he threw up. Yeah, it just sticks now covered in this like nasty. Oh. Baby, you got any vials? Uh, I don't know. Feel better. That was good. That was good. That was great. You did that cut you just from the blister? I feel bile. so much better now. That was wild. Whatever that was, probably shouldn't have been inside me. No. What is that? What did you eat? Did you eat one of those galaxy marbles? I didn't marbles? eat that. I mean, maybe something I could have eaten could turn into you that. You ate the dealing food, didn't you? Why would I feel better? Because you My neck well. doesn't hurt anymore. And you what ate your the hand? thing you weren't supposed My to eat. My hand doesn't hurt anymore. Oh. Okay, so that thing was causing my hand pain and my neck pain, and it was a food that I ate? That no. makes no sense at all. Did you eat dealing's food? No. I haven't even been near that. <laughs> That's true. And the guy said you're gonna puke a bunch. I, I only puked one time just now. He didn't little, say it wasn't even that much. Black bile either. It doesn't matter. What is this? Hold on, give me a sec. Yeah. Dude. I'll swap out uh, Star for Bane, and I'll, I'll toss Bane out. Okay. Bane hits the field. And he goes. Ugh. Is that stuff like yours? Uh, 
can I scan the bile with my Pokedex? <laughs> yeah, you get no Some entry. pretty bad okay. stuff. <laughs> but oh, is that thinking, what we're doing now? Good thinking, but no entries in there. Give me the PC, D. Yeah. I'll switch uh, Cheeky Baggy, Baby Baggy. Baggy. Cheeky Bagel. Baggy. Cheeky Bagel. Cheeky Bagel. Cheeky Bagel. For Cyanide and be like, hey, does that look like your stuff? Oh, wow. That's yep. not good. This is Neither some bad stuff. Neither of them like that stuff. I mean, it was inside me, so... <laughs> is it acidic? In any sort of Woo! nature? No. Not that we can tell. Is it like moving can we around take out or anything? A pH it just looks like strip? black goop. Yeah, it just looks like black vomit. Ew. Bring out Riot. You have Riot? Yeah, that's yeah, what we did. We'll do it with him too, why not? CJ, you appear to have vomited 87.3% pure oil. That's oil? Okay. I didn't consume oil. Don't even ask. Are you sure? Yes! Come on, dude. You eat a lot of weird stuff. I don't just drink oil, <laughs> you guys. Is this what you were doing when you said you beat the gym? You were just eating weird things? Yeah, totally. This badge is uh, what I was doing when I beat the gym. I was eating oil. Boiling <laughs> in <laughs> dick. Fair enough. He's like, either fight me or consume all this oil and you win. <laughs> well, I mean, being honest, if it that's all I had to me. do... <laughs> Does it look like Probably the stuff that Riot's made up of? Gym. No? No? Okay. No, the stuff Riot's made up of is reactive. Okay. It, just it, double check. It this moves is just and is oil. quite keen on finding new hosts. That's just crossing up all sorts heck? of things. Bruh. It's Something good. It's wrong. out of my system now. Well, Hopefully so there's not more of it in my system. Did he throw it up on, like, dirt road? No, presumably you guys are on the equivalent yeah. of the sidewalk. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. It's just pavement. Yeah. And it smells like oil now that it, she... Thankfully it doesn't have a strong smell. Yeah. But, I mean, it looks, it catches... The light like oil would and Hey, is there more oil in my body? I'm certain I don't know. Can you like scan me or like look through my energy and see if anything looks weird? I'm gonna Your energy always looks different. Yeah. He's missing the well, soul. Can I see the rest that? of us? My His Pokedex for energy like is dimmer. <clears throat> oily liquids. Oh, your energy is dimmer than the rest Search of us. The for yeah, it. didn't you guys tell me that was blue the other day? Yeah. What kinda, that what follows. Check if any of That'll be investigation. Confirmed. Okay. It's all the same shit. It's confirmed. Except for now you're throwing up oil. That doesn't make well, sense. Well, maybe it does make sense 13. because the disc is gone 13. and the oil was part of it, and maybe I'm just getting it all out. Yeah. The oil? What? There's oil on a, a there's disc. There's a number of Pokemon that produce oil, but none of them look quite like this. Okay. Yeah, I, I don't know, CJ. Like, even... Like, some Pokemon might be able to do this, but, like, you're not a Pokemon, and... Are we sure about that? He is most assuredly not a Pokemon. Yeah. Mistrevis <laughs> backs me up. And he seems genuinely distressed. Yeah. At yeah, the amount see? of oil that you have produced. We just want to help you out, CJ. You just bottling this up and saying, well, I'll let you know when my hand hurts again. That's not good. What do you, what, how do you want me to handle this? If you could increase your production, there are several companies that might be interested <laughs> in. I mean, that would be sick. I would absolutely this my best just best throw this stuff up and sell it. I'd be okay with that. I mean, I feel way better now, so if I'm it just going to continue... could power one of the vehicles that drove away for approximately six hours. Yo, that's sick. That's so cool. This is no That's a lot That's of throw up. Speeds. That's not good. It's probably why I felt so terrible. Well, yeah, and I don't feel terrible anymore. <laughs> why don't we? Okay, we'll take I a feel look. fine. We're gonna take a look at you through the goggles again once we catch back up with Mila yeah. to see if anything changed. Hey, man, because that'll sounds good to me. Whatever you guys want to do, I don't really care. As long as you feel better, that's all that matters, really. Yeah. But back to the the message thing. You said Mistrevis gave you a message, but like it wasn't. Yeah, Mistrevis. It it started when I touched it. It said a message for you, and then it said uh, the thing. Yeah. But it sounded like the grave tender. Well, it was like a weird like ghost. Sh oh, voice. so it could have been any ghost. I guess. Okay. I don't remember specifically what the grave tender sounds like, honestly. Really? No. I mean, I'm sure if I heard his voice okay. again. Can you do a history check? And Can you saw do a history him. check? Sure. Is that who it was? If it, like, Could do a history, history check. check the same. 100%. God. <sighs> CJ's really good at history, guys. Well, Don't give worry. it a shot. Don't Don't six freaking the worry. Eye. It's great. It's going to be good. Which his history is uh, minus one, so that's a five, baby. Could have been any ghost. Uh, okay, so I don't, I don't know. Right. Okay. I don't remember. 
That's just your My guess. My guess is, is that's guess. who it was because yeah, okay. it, who else would be saying, do you think it would be that easy? What are they talking about? This is my first interaction with a ghost other than Des since I gave away the tombstone. Yeah. Probably the grave tender. I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember what he sounded like. It could be. I just don't understand why... Why it would be mad. He's upset. Moving on. What are we going to do about it? Not moving on. What do you want to do about it? What are you going to do about it right now? I'm going to fight you, grave tender. What do you want to do? There's nothing we can do. We got to move on. There's nothing to do. It makes a valid point. They're literally, what are we just going to stand here and talk about it? We can talk about it. Sure. But what are we going to accomplish? We don't know what happened. We don't know why it happened. It's either things are going to continue to happen like they continued to happen when I had the disc or they're not. And now it's done because this happened and I puked up that oil. Maybe I'm done now. Do we have any vials right. on us? Can I do the I, I think still? Do I have vials? I don't know if I, I don't do have try. it in my like inventory. I'm going to try. I'm gonna try and do that on Bentley after I say all that. Give me a constitution save throw. What are you trying to do? The eyes thing on Bentley oh. after I say that. 14. Oh. 14? <laughs> they kick on. But it's not easy anymore. Okay. You have to actively think about it. Can I can I hear what he's thinking? No. Okay. Suck it! Steel <laughs> trap up there. Steel uh, trap. Well, I mean, I can't even do the eye thing anymore. You're doing it. As, as he's saying that his irises are gold. Yeah, you're doing it. I can't do it lying. anymore. Don't lie. It's not I'm working. I'm not lying. I tried to read your thoughts just now and it you didn't work. You tried to what? I tried to read your thoughts. Why would you, you do fought? that? Because I wanted to see if I it would work mine. anymore. You only care about you. I haven't tried it not since me, it happened. Not Hermione. <laughs> 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 Mm. That was just the most. You won. You won. You won. You won. First thing I thought of was Harry Potter with that. Oh god. Oh god, man. Woo. Don't try and read my thoughts. <laughs> I can't do it anymore, so don't worry about it. He is thinking about a large fish, and his concern for you. She got it. She's better than you are. Yeah, cause she's a ghost, bro. Yeah, but I'm just saying, she nailed it. I'm worried about you, man. Thanks. That's nice of you. I appreciate it. All right. But well, there's not really anything we can do about it I, right I now. I understand. You make a good point, but, like, just keep us in the loop, okay? We can help or try. You got it. I will do that. All, All right. right. All right. Keep going. Yep. All right. So you guys saddle up and press on, leaving the mysterious oil puddle that's starting to, like, slick between the cobblestones of the street. I'm assuming we don't have any vials on us unless it says in our inventory. Yeah, unless you guys have been keeping empty mm. glass bottles mm. or anything anyway. I got a thing of cactus juice. I don't think so. I, I don't. things of cactus juice. I've got the, like, vials that are full of stuff from way back when. Mm, yeah. Don't worry about it. All good. You can pour out this dumb ambrosia and scoop some oil. Who <laughs> <laughs> needs this? Imagine. That doesn't seem important. Imagine. Just pour it onto the sidewalk and there's like a corpse hand that comes out. Like, ah! <laughs> Why would you do God. this to me? Reborn! <laughs> Kill it! Kill it! Kill, Kill it! Fire. Fire. Kill it! Kill it! It's not a Pokemon, that's a person. Move it! Pressing on. Okay. You guys press on. You. Step out a little bit. You start to see Milo on bullet flying overhead. Oh. Doing some circles. Seems to be looking for something. Oh. Cool. And you see the Not tire like... treads kind of lean up ahead and a couple, maybe like a, you know, it's pretty clear visibility. It's well lit still. It's about a quarter mile up. You see that truck that you were following. Is the whole oh, road what? paved, I assume? Yeah. Oh, what, what? It's one of the few. It's okay. a truck. That you can see it's, it's currently <laughs> up on a, uh, like a tire jack. It's currently lifted on one side and like super deflated on the other. And mm -hmm. the back locks have been <laughs> open and it's now kind of hanging, swinging, and one of the doors is loose. Oh, uh, what? Bringing us back. To Derby? To maybe? Derby. Oh, okay. Cool. Derby, perfect timing. As you're hanging tough in the tire treads, yes. oblivious to what's just gone on behind you, you see that green creature again. Mm -hmm. Pop another tire. And you hear, guys, a browsel from the guy. And you're like, he seems upset. Hopefully he's doing okay. 
And as the truck continues to list even further, one on the other side, and it kind of levels out, and he's like, Husk bird! And you're like, oh, this poor guy! He's having a rough day. He's taking it pretty well. And you hear a ping from the back of the truck. As you're kind of looking at the driver from your, your vantage point, you look back, and one of the doors kind of swings open and kind of hangs open, and you hear some rustling from inside. You see a Pokeball. Kind of spill out. And another. And as the driver's kind of heading around, you see one long, like, almost see-through, but still kind of emerald green scythe-like arm poke out of the truck. Do you warn the driver? Um... It's entirely your call. Can Derby, uh, look at the guy and see if he looks particularly, uh... Help worthy? <laughs> Not like <laughs> nefarious. Yeah, pretty much. He, I mean, he looks like he a normal seems like a, person just a as far truck as Derby driver. Is. Okay. Yeah, then just have... a dude with like a hat. Doing his a job. Yeah, yeah probably. The truck. Yeah, there's no like logos or anything on him. It okay. seems like he's just driving the yeah, truck. Probably. I mean, okay. he he's been taking this pretty well. I mean, I can say if I got a flat tire on my car and every time I went to fix it, another tire went flat, I would be like. I would leave the vehicle. Yeah. I'd be probably like, okay. Yeah. yeah. For sale. And, burn it. and this poor guy's like, man, oh man. And like, he's just he's taking a while. I got honey all over my legs. <laughs> <laughs> Fast animal, slow children. Oh my god. So, honey all over my legs. I'll go with yes. Okay. How do you how do you warn him? Uh do you just pop out of the treads and, yes. and do something? Yeah, he what pops out with his little legs and just goes like Wah. All right, the driver goes. That's a bar. And he kind of like gets low and oh, looks over I at you. Doomed him. As you kind of like scoot over close, he watches that scythe arm just Jesus. pulls back into the truck. And there's a <laughs> kind of like torn metal sound out the side. And you just hear. <laughs> and the driver's like, oh, jeez. Hagbird. And just kind of like pats you on the head with your little hat. And then he walks around to the other side. This driver's very was, seems Canadian. To be gone. He goes and sits down. <laughs> He just kind of sits, looking at the truck, seeing how damaged it is, and looks down at you, Derby, and he's like, Hey, a bird. And you're just like, Wait, wait. Around this time, you see four of your buddies come walking up. <laughs> you see yes, a little Derby, Derby sitting with a truck driver. And there's just busted metal scraps everywhere. Jeez. You said there's a couple this... of these Pokeballs come tumbling out, right? Yeah. Okay. There's there's currently like probably a half dozen or so in the street and more on the way. As they're just boom, just you, kind of falling into the mud. Any weird logos on them? Just at, quick, at a quick glance? So far, everything you're seeing is an occupied red Pokeball. Okay. Just perfectly standard. As the driver's starting to pick them up one at a time, he looks in there, kind of shines a light, and he's ah, oh, jeez, man. All right. Well, thanks for, thanks for stopping by a little, buddy. I don't know what was doing this, but... Appreciate your company all the same. <laughs> Derby's just like... <laughs> just taking it in. Think I saved you, maybe. <laughs> don't I deserve know. a reward. <laughs> blazzle, blazzle. <laughs> it's like, dang it, man. You don't even know. Yeah. As you guys come walking up, you can see... A gentleman that Mischievous identifies as... It's Philip. K-pop guy. Mm -hmm. as, he's, <laughs> as he's reloading the, the truck, he's kind of shining a flashlight in there. You can see out the right side of the truck, there's just this big, like, X-shape hole that's been kicked out. Heck? Jesus. <clears throat> whatever, yeah, whatever was running through here was very, very sharp. Does it look like it went through both sides of the truck, or it was inside the truck it looks and like broke it was out? inside okay. broke out. But there's all sorts of like slashed tires all around this thing. There's there's foot pads in the in the little bits of, of street that you can see. There's like some some markings. Is there paint? No paint. Um, ex excuse me, sir. Do you do you need some assistance? Ah, uh, I don't know what else there is to do. I don't have a 
but five <laughs> spare tires. Well, but, do you, do you uh, need help at least loading some of this stuff back up into the truck? That way it's not strewn out everywhere? Now that, that's good thinking. Yes, please, I wouldn't mind. <laughs> yeah. What yeah, happened? I can help too. Wish I knew. <laughs> I was just driving along, blew a tire, and they kept going. I kept hearing all these weird sounds, and then all of a sudden, the side of the truck's blown out. All my cargo's been shifted around. Hmm. What the heck? As I'm going through picking up like these Pokeballs, mm -hmm. does it look like that they're tampered with in any sort of way? Uh, make an investigation check. Not now. With the whoopee! Not now, kid. I'm here to save you! <laughs> oh god. Whoop of inspiration! <laughs> you doing it? Yeah. Alright. Cash it in! Cash it in! Natural one. Don't sit on it for god All knows right, how long. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, investigation home, will be... 15. 15? Yes. They do not. They appear perfectly normal, just occupied. Okay. So Bentley's gonna take like a, a armful of them <laughs> and then walk them up into the truck. Okay. And wants to investigate like the shelves on the truck to see if there are any like privateer balls or team rocket balls. Uh, sure. Yeah, I'll say with the, with Philip's flashlight kind of illuminating the inside of the truck. I'll save you the time. Nothing at first glance, unless you want to really be nosy and kind of pick around. All these stacked crates are just red Pokeballs sitting in, like, shipping hay, basically. Okay. Okay, well, stacked I, atop one as I'm setting the Pokeballs back, I'll kind of, like, try and inconspicuously look like I'm just putting the Pokeballs back where I think they go, but really I'm trying what? to snoop and find, like... Yeah. Give me a, or either sleight of hand or deception. Dealer's choice. Would I be so able to assist him in this prisoner. with doing the same thing? Sure. So I'll say you can either both roll or he can roll with advantage. 16 on the deception. I'll give him advantage. Or sleight of hand. Okay, so go ahead and take an advantage. 16 on All right. sleight of hand. <laughs> okay, 16 on sleight of hand. Yeah, you kind of like do like a little jammy shuffle of some balls. They're all just standard fair red Pokeball. Hmm. But they are all, they do all look to be occupied. Each one has that faint little... Got it, got it. I'm going to pick up some balls and... Run. Accidentally release one. Okay. What? As you... Nothing comes out. Hmm. But give me another slight hand check. <laughs> As you're surreptitiously trying to click these batons. You got it. <laughs> Eight. Eight? Yeah, as you're trying to click them, you just end up kind of dropping a few, and you're like, ah, 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 Bring them in there. But you definitely hit a few of these buttons, and mm -hmm. nothing comes up. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. But Philip, for all of his incredible abilities, doesn't notice you. With a six. Philip doesn't care about me. As he's kind of like shining the light There's in there. too many other things going on. You're just kind of, yeah. he's, he's keeping an eye on like Dee and Bentley as they're kind of sorting through and you come up behind, you're like. That's why I was doing what I was doing. There's three non-flat tires. Yeah. So he just, he just kind of sits down at the edge of the truck and he's like, well, I appreciate you kids helping me reload. I guess I'll just get fired. Walk back to town and we'll let him not get that far. Thank you. Yeah, no, no problem. Where are you? You're heading to Ambercrag, I'm guessing. Yes, sir. Heading up to Ambercrag, and from there, this uh, all this cargo is to make its way to different places. From there, I just I just do the Ambercrag route. So, do all mm. of these Pokeballs get delivered to Ambercrag? Uh, initially at least, yeah, and then they get sent off to different places. Mm. Interesting. Okay. He's gonna walk over to Mr. and be like, "Is he lying? Is he telling us the truth?" He does not appear to be. Lying? Oh, okay. <laughs> Lying or telling the truth? <laughs> Tell me! I said two different <laughs> things. So he has no yeah. brain. <laughs> there are no thoughts. <laughs> Only circuits and oil. <gasps> <laughs> no. Okay. He, he doesn't appear to be lying. His surface thoughts are like, man, these kids are nice. Very, uh, very glad they showed up. Spot on. They look cool. Well, if there's nothing else you need, I guess we'll be on yeah. our way. Sure. Well, hey, thanks again. Do you know who the Pokeballs go to? Is it the, is it the Woods family? Jeez. <laughs> Thank you. Can't I, know, say, uh, I know a Woods family that lives there, and they do Pokeball stuff, so I didn't know if maybe they did that. 
Sorry, kid. I uh, I just drive the truck. Okay. I will say, uh, there. I'm supposed to meet someone named Tom. He's the one that signs for it. But oh, okay. Oh, okay. That's all I have. Oh, cool. Cool. Thanks. Right. Hey, is that your dad? Yes. Oh yeah. Dad, it's Tom. Yes. Josh, I don't want this guy to know. Well, that's fine. Hey, this dad, guy no, is that's his dad. That's why I didn't say that. That's his dad, man. That's so cool. Fucking <laughs> crazy. We also know you Tom. You know Tom? Do you want to come over to his parents' house? <laughs> All right, Milo. You and Bullet, give me one final bout of perception from up above. I'm just curious if you see the thing. Uh, 18. Mm -hmm. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. 24. Okay. You have advantage with Bullet. You do have advantage with Bullet. Credit! So Credit! Oh, yeah, yeah. Right, we'll keep that 18. Yeah. Technically, you did crit. Yeah. Okay, <laughs> so, Milo, as you and Bullet are kind of flying overhead, you see you see your uh, your friends kind of walking down the road, doing some stuff. They stop for a minute, and you, you kind of lose track of them for a bit. You're looking for Derby, and you hear this awful, like, rending of metal. Just, and as you're flying over the top of this truck, you see just the faintest glimmer of, like, dark green, almost translucent skin, just... And you lose it very quickly in the trees. But you Dang. catch just the faintest sight of like these long scythe-like claws. Okay. As it's as it's running away, you see a bunch of little pokeballs kind of boom, 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 out onto the street. You see this whole exchange with your friends as bullets like trying to find you a place to land, and then just just kind of. Docks you a little ways behind the truck and leans down so you can slide off. Okay. Well. And you see Derby's just over there. He's eating like a little snack that Philip gave him. Nice. He's Aww. Just... Good job, Derby. Philip is a nice guy. Wait, wait. He can do no harm. Yeah. Maybe we should feed him an absurd amount of cakes and take his keys. <laughs> <laughs> Went so well last time. <laughs> God. So it looks like this kind of worked itself out. Yep. yep. Cool. Do we know? We have a name. Yep. Oh, okay, cool. Shh. Great. Walk this way, I guess. <laughs> Thanks for looking after my diglet guy. <laughs> oh, no problem. He was actually, he was, he was great company. So thanks for, I guess, lending him to me for a bit. Cheers. Bye, Philip. Good luck. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. you don't get fired. Let us know if we need to vouch for what? you. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. It's like, okay. Travel sure. safe. Vanguard's just gonna shit can Philip. Yeah. <laughs> Suck it, Philip. You Mr. fucked Mr. up. the whole way out is just. It's all your fault. The one you called Derby saved that man's life. Oh, what? Oh. Cool. Good job, Derby. <laughs> Say what now? Do you know from what? He does not, so I do not. Probably that green thing. You green thing? No. Green thing? Oh, yeah. It had like knife arms. It's like this big Excuse knife me? hand, Excuse like me, what, the like what? the one we saw at the mine mine place. What? Um, actually, yes. You saw, saw it? There? Yeah. Maybe maybe it was the same yeah. one. I I don't know about that. I couldn't tell from up there, but oh, maybe where'd it go? I mean, it looks Wrecking like that's it. probably what broke out of the truck. Well, where, definitely. Where did it go? High wisdom, it kids. Just, it just ran away. Yes. Ran away into the forest. Yeah, like really fast. <laughs> You see a long scythe-like claw just pull the tree back as Philip walks away. Oh shit! Gives you all a knowing nod, like, and then jumps back into the truck. What? What? Oh. Okay, don't just don't kill that and you guy. You just hear like, and a few more pokeballs just kind of ding, 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 fall their way up. Okay, don't kill Philip though. Mischievous, what's it looking for? I don't believe it knows. But something. A sphere, perhaps. Perfect. Really narrows it down. There's about 30,000 of them in here, or whatever number you said. Mm -hmm. After a few moments, unless you guys do anything. Mm -mm. No. Watch. <clears throat> Comes backing out of the, the truck, and it's holding something in its hand. It's mom. It's purple. It's pulsing. It looks to be made of skin. Mm. Oh my gosh. What? Come on, Bentley. You couldn't find that? Did yeah, look Bentley. That hard? As the scyther just... has it, just in between its two sides, like sharp point down. 
And it just just shatters the device. The pieces fall limp and dead, inactive on the floor. Damn you, Scyther. Just crushes underneath. Gives you a nod. And these wings emerge from its back and it flitters away. Dude, that had to be the what? same one. Seemed to be. Had to be. Is there can I, any pieces can I, that yeah, are left? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. It just sliced the entire mechanism clean in half. And where you're used to seeing, like, technology, this is organic. Um, gross. In a horrifying way. Anywhere you would find a wire, you find a vein. So gross. Okay. Anywhere that's... you would find, like, plastic or metal, you find bone. Gross. Covered in skin. Yes. Uh, D's gonna rip part of his flannel, swoop it up, tie it off in, like, a quick knapsack, and toss it mm -hmm. in his bag. Yeah. Don't lose that, D. Don't play The whole time it. you're near, you use your No tossing the bag. Can I understand okay. any of that? No. It just sounds like uh, okay. A whispers. Cacophony of noises. Whispers. I will add flesh ball pieces. Sick. Yeah. The, the bits of your flannel that you wrap it in are mm -hmm. just immediately like soaked. Perfect. Almost okay. with like this weird mix of sweat and blood. Hate it. That's. Hate it. But as you guys make your way out of the truck, the door to Wilhelm Manor appears before you. Hey. You have an hour to decide whether or not you're going in. Uh, yeah. Hey. Let's go in. Yeah. Well, we we get the amber crash yeah. that, right? For sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Zero hesitation. For sure. Get on in there. Yeah, I'm going in. As you will run your way into the manor. Yeah. We'll go for a little bit longer, why not? I'm not going to leave everybody on that. That'd be mean. This could be months. Oh, we don't know. <clears throat> D's gonna go into his room now. Okay. And what everybody now sees in D's room is a ship styled room, like a captain's quarters. But down below, like what would be like another portion of the deck is like a full blown like lab. And I'll just full plop out all these fleshy ball bits. Is it like okay. jarring too, or it's all wood, and then when you go in there, it's like stainless steel? Yeah, 100%, <laughs> yeah, so like, but even down below, yeah. even down below, you feel, still feel like the rocking of like a ship still. Interesting. Just like that, with like gentle wave crashes, and you um, can kind of hear in the background like the ambience of like the ocean. I'm just gonna stand over your shoulder looking at this thing. That's gross. Roll up my sleeves and... I'll meet you some knuckles ocean deep. ambience. Thanks, buddy. Let me know okay. if you're fine. I don't really want to look at it anymore. Okay. But come on and just, <laughs> yeah. just start. Are you, are you proficient in medicine? Uh. I am not. Okay. The inner workings of this ball are a complete mystery. There's no technology at all. But having a but practice Phoebe, doctor. Phoebe might be able to help you. Okay. I don't want to doctor. If you, have the, if you have the stomach for it at the moment, you can try. Doctor, doctor. Okay. doctor. I'm just, I'm not, I'm trying not to breathe. Okay. Yeah. Then give me a, give me a medicine check. Would I be able to help her with advantage this? or if you can, you can <laughs> help. A wise person. Yeah, like. you can help. Okay. I'll say you can give her advantage. Okay. Just I'm also mostly good with in like steady my hands and make a check yeah. on yeah. top of her. I'll check. say, I'll say Bentley can also assist in this. Say so anybody with medicine, you can take 23. Them. 23. Atta girl. Holy beans. Beans. I have 15. 15? Okay, I'll say between the, uh, between the two of you with D's guidance, given that it's your lab, you're like, okay, you get this, you get this, you get this. Knowing at least, like, what, like, portions of it might be part of a Pokeball, maybe? Yeah. Phoebe, specifically, given your time as an actual, like, doctor in training, so to speak. Yeah. This is deeply unnatural. Like, this is horrifying what you're looking at. It is somehow, it appears to be manufactured. It looks like it was a Pokeball. You've seen them, just not really this close for this long. Yeah. And the whole time you're poking and prodding around it, you can swear you hear it breathing. <laughs> but it looks like a perfect cross section that was then stomped on so yeah. it's in about 19 to 20 pieces at the moment but you can see there's just this bifurcation down the middle yeah. and it looks like the cross section of a perfectly spherical piece of bone 
totally encased. And on the inside of it, it's just lined with arteries. It's almost like a heart inside a bone sphere. And the whole time you're near it, it's just... Is there any way to know if there's something in this? As far it... as your recollection goes, every time you've seen a ball that was occupied, it had some kind of faint glow. This Whether doesn't... it was Mox or anything yeah, else, didn't this Mox... one did. And no longer does. But Mox was in the same thing. Mm -hmm. Mox is glue similarly to this one, but this one is no longer glowing. Okay. Whatever so, was whatever, in here is yeah. no longer. You just killed that. Yeah. Whatever that is. Whatever it was. Gosh. But as you're kind of piecing it back together to kind of get a better look, do you put all the pieces back together? Yeah. Okay. Does it have the glow again, is it? too? Nope. Okay. Seems to be an unoccupied ball. But it and is whole now? Stop. Mm -hmm. It whispers stop? Yep. And then like, drop just it. this, like, <laughs> stitching where the Pokeball seams would be. That just... Absolutely. And you hear this weird, unnatural... But there's no occupant. I don't know that we should be messing with that anymore. Guys, that truck was going to my dad. I'm gonna reach my hand above the workbench, and as I go, it looks like I'm gonna turn a dial and then like a vault, like a safe appears. Okay. Let's just leave it in there until we figure something else out for it. Yeah. That's... Guys. Is it saying anything? No. No? It, you just hear. I feel like it's breathing. <sighs> Probably is. Let's uh, ah, put it in there. Guys, that truck was going to my dad. Why does your dad want this, Bentley? Yeah. I don't know. Why Why would he want this? That's horrible. We're three for three now. And this thing is disgusting. Yeah. Um, yeah. CJ, give me a constitution saving throw, please. Yay, another one. Maybe more oil is to come? Or worse. Death. Uh, 12. 12. No, 11. One, two, three. <laughs> Does somebody else get a Phoebe, give me a deck save. Don't oh, shit. make eye contact <laughs> when you Pro say that. eye contact. <laughs> Be dexterous, Phoebes. I don't know what's happening. 18. Oh. 18? Okay. CJ, as you're watching this whole thing unfold, you just can't look away from the... And as D opens that vault to lock it away, you see your one and only chance. And your arm, without even thinking, and points it towards Phoebe as you just bat his hand out of the way and there's this purple gaseous laser that encapsulates nothing. Before you drop the ball, D takes out his hammer and just what? slams it down on the ball. <laughs> Icker and bone and everything go flying away. Did you just try to catch I'm me? I'm so sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to do that. I, di I didn't heck? do that on purpose. That? I swear to God. That, that was so weird. <laughs> that was so weird. I told you it wouldn't be so easy. <laughs> Three down, one to go. What? What? What does that mean? Is only CJ Can we hear this? that? CJ is talking to himself. What does that mean? What? <gasps> what's going on? No, you tell us what's going on. Just like you the, just tried to catch what me. What happened here? Yeah. And as that ball just <laughs> is shattered on the floor, all those little pieces spell out, see you soon. Oh my god. What happened in here? I start cleaning CJ it up. CJ just tried to catch me. Okay. What? I didn't. In the flesh ball. I didn't do that. I I know that it happened. Yeah. But I I was not in control. I just I didn't do your that arm away. of your own body. I would. I wouldn't do that. But you did. I don't know what happened. He's telling the truth. He's I, confused. 
don't understand what just happened. Did you guys hear that? You have excellent reflexes. You're, Thank you. <laughs> You're not known for <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can I recognize the voice that Thank time? Thank God in this moment. Make another history check. God damn it. You heard please, it again. Please be good. Please, please be good. It's not. It's another five. Another Gosh! Five? Could be literally anything. I have no idea. Come on, CJ! I heard, I heard the voice again. It said three down, one to go. Was one, one down, three to go? Three down, what one to go. Down? Three, I don't yeah. know. I don't know. Maybe the flesh balls. But why? I don't. I don't know what's going on. Mox. Maybe. Maybe. Mox was in a flesh ball. Yeah. He's one. That's but, two. Well, there's only one other one we know of. What's the other one we the, know? Of? Lord Ridgemont has one in his manor. So is that one gone? No, it's still there. But I don't know what's going on. They said on, one. Guys. If that's what it is. What? Why did I do that? Well, yeah, that's... I'm not even going to pretend to have an idea on that, dude. I'm going to guess good whatever question. you threw up wasn't everything. Dude, I don't know. What'd you throw up? He threw up oil. oil. Like it looked like oil? Yeah, my no. neck was all it was burned. Oil. It was literally oil. It was, it was literally, literally 3.7% pure oil. What was the other 17%? Bile. Oh, that makes sense. He just threw it up. He threw up oil? I didn't drink oil. Yeah, I would assume not. Thank you. <laughs> You're the Some only one that thought he didn't. wouldn't. We all thought he did. No. I thought he ate the deerling candies. That's a good guess. Did you eat the deerling no. candies? No. <laughs> <laughs> He's known about them for like three no, hours. No, I didn't eat the candies. Immediately, You're like, did you eat them already somehow? He said not to do it, so I, I mean, wouldn't do that. He said you'd throw up. That tracks. No, he didn't. <sighs> I didn't eat them. Okay. This isn't related to that. Well, why, why would throwing that up make him do that? that I would think no, it would be I, the No, just something's wrong with him. Well, that's... When has that not been the case, unfortunately? But it's still the case. Yeah. I mean, ever since Mayburn, there's been yeah, something before wrong then. with him. <laughs> I think I was normal before then. <laughs> I just wish I could go no, back to the No forest. frame of reference, really. <laughs> I'm not like other kids. I'm quirky. I'm going to catch you in a flesh ball and trap you in my spirit hand. I'm so random. Okay. <laughs> Jeez, Hold on. LOL. XD RAR. What happened just before you tried to throw it? She put the ball back together? Yeah. And it was like just. And then. You saw and then D took it no, and was going to put I, it in the I safe. Left it in for a minute. Because I didn't want to know it was the gross. Pieces, gross yeah, me yeah. out. Okay, yeah. But you saw yeah, the They put it back together and it yeah. seemed like so it was I, working again. Yes. And we were going to put it in D's safe. And yeah. then all of a sudden I just grabbed it and tried to catch Phoebe. Yeah, and then I smacked his arm so away. So it came back to working order. Yes. Then, under threat of it being locked away, you had a, a something Maybe. happened. something just happened. Maybe that's what it was, or whatever's do, going on with CJ Can I, him. like, understand if it was me acting on impulse and I, like, didn't, wasn't thinking about it, or if something was controlling me? Somewhere in between. Okay. You just had this overwhelming feeling that this was, like, your last chance. But when it, it broke, you heard three down, one to go. Correct? Just after D smashed it, yeah. Yeah. So what if it's goal, whatever, let's let's pretend there's a ghost that possessed you, right? And its goal is to break those, if that's right. They had you do something that would prompt us to immediately break it and get rid of it for good. So it wasn't necessarily the intention to catch you, just to get us to get rid of it. But what if I did catch her? Yeah. I have no idea. Okay, well that didn't happen and now it's in pieces. So yeah, regardless, pieces? never again put that back together. Please? I don't think I could right now anyway. I'm still hung up on the Can fact that like my dad burn this? wants one of these things. Can I look at the... Does he... Did you clean it up yet? I'm not that's, there. Yeah, that's I so that's sort of pending. There were okay. there were pieces on the floor that said "see you soon." I'll look at that. And... Okay. It still says "see you soon." Mm -hmm. did, have we addressed this? Who's, no. Who did this sick prank? It just happened. When it you happened. Smashed it. Now it says words. Yeah. 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 He smashed it and it just arranged it itself like that. It whoa, it, like it landed like that, or like it landed and then it like rearranged. It landed I and guess rearranged. It just landed like that. I don't know. It's a flesh ball. 
I think you're right, though. That seems... Like, why would <sighs> why would some voice be like, three down, one to go? Because it, it was it's... unsuccessful in catching Phoebe. That doesn't make sense. Like, what's down other exactly, than that? Exactly. Other than, other than the, the boss said that when yeah. Scyther broke it. So it was already broken. And then we fixed yeah, it and we, then broke it again. I didn't influence that at all. No, I, I think that's three down in happened. terms of what was in it. Right, Dude, but I, there was nothing that, in it when yeah, we, we because put it, it died. Together. Okay, we this put is awful. <laughs> but the <laughs> pieces are them. So I will leave them in the lab to talk, and I'll kind of just okay. slink my way out. At, like I'm gonna go throw it away. Okay, and then I'll go upstairs to my room and I'll open up another safe and I'll toss it in there. Okay, for later. Mm -hmm. All right. Midnight snack. Ew. Disgusting. Jesus. Take it back. No. <laughs> Take it back. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I had to. Like the okay. tendon right. Yeah, I'll say it's easy enough. They're all disgusting stuff. You just disgusting. Yeah, and then I will grab Neek's ball off the shelf. Mm -hmm. I'm going to give it to Neek. Okay. So he's like, hey. Hey, buddy. Something bad's in here. In Got case it. something bad happens, get in the ball. No problem, boss. Okay, good job, buddy. Get my high he goes, hey, I got something for you. Oh, okay. He grabs a little vial. Uh-huh. It's got this little kind of like greenish viscous fluid in there. It goes, it's a little bit of my glue in case you need it. You are awesome. Thanks, man. Did you say glue? Yeah. Oh, okay. It's goof goop. Yeah, because he can, he, he basically <laughs> has like sticky hands. Oh, oh, okay. So he can, that's what he uses for his designs. So yeah. if you need okay. glue for anything, he's I see. Like, Nice, it's nice. not rapid, but like every couple yeah. every couple days he gets a little bit. Oh, also, buddy, when when uh when you're bored, uh, been working on this for Phoebe, and I'll throw out the designs for her project that I have yet to finish. Oh, for sure. Just start working on it whenever you have free time. Some an incubation unit with a high high pressure. He's just immediately yeah. like starting his own sketches. <laughs> he gets real excited. Oh yeah. Okay. Um, question for you, because I seem to have missed some bits. This happened, and then you also threw up earlier. Was there maybe a third thing that uh -huh. you did? Oh, yeah. What, what there was, was another thing. The mischievous, when I asked to see it, it uh -huh. sent on a message to okay. me. Like, it looked like one of those strands from before. And I touched it. My hand hurt really bad. And then I heard a message for you. I don't remember what the message was. Okay. Um, currently. But, um, yeah, and then, uh... Isn't it like, you'll regret this? No. Or something? It's something, I don't, I don't even remember. <laughs> What'd you say? Like, you can't get away that easily or something? Oh, it, yeah, I, it's something along the lines of, uh, you didn't think it would be this easy. Something like that. Yeah, okay. So, I wasn't gonna tell you. You heard <laughs> that first. I, I know I would get back to it. I'm just blanking on it right Tia, now. Just giving them little pieces. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, you heard that first. Did anything else happen with you? Yeah, my hand hurt really bad. My neck apparently was burned, and then I puked, and then my neck was healed, and then this happened. Okay. Because maybe it's a reference to, like, I, I don't know ghost stuff, so stop me if this is outside the realm of your knowledge, yeah. but what if... These are, it's like three down of like things he needs to do to your body in order to take it over. And there's one thing left to do to you. So the first one was giving me a message. The next one was well, making no, me No, I'm puke. saying, I don't know, like your hand hurt and like he's coming this way and then puking out something and then now controlling your arm and then. Maybe. I don't know. It's, I guess that's possible. Okay. I like your other idea way more, For though. For sure, but this is, like, way more critical, and I would think that we would want to explore <clears throat> and address that just in case now. Well, what do we do? We can't do anything I about it. I don't freaking know, dude. There's... I don't have any ghost powers Maybe anymore. Just any, uh, any warning you can give to yeah. us if you get a tingling of something somewhere you physically. It. Anything. So we can help. You got it. Down. Okay. Yeah. Don't, yeah, don't try to play just... tough guy. Never. And... Not yeah, anymore. Back Not with this room. stuff anymore. Easy enough. And I'll look at like mischievous like before they kind of like realize that mm -hmm. I'm like back and I'll just. <laughs> she she also goes. Okay. Well, so that was horrible. Yeah. I I'm really sorry. I wouldn't ever try to do that on purpose. 
All right. <laughs> Phoebe's writing in the burn book. <laughs> CJ number one. Kill I'm, CJ. Gonna, I'm gonna go I'm to my room. I'm still not because it just happened, but no, I, that's I don't fair. think you did it on purpose. Completely fair. I believe mischievous. <laughs> You've been acting pretty sus lately. I saw you vent. <laughs> and after saying I'm sorry, I'm definitely just gonna leave and go to my room and... Okay. Yeah. I mean, we know he's not lying because Mr. Viz can yeah. read his surface thoughts, so. Yeah. And I don't think CJ, even in his right mind, would even do that to you. Right, but, like, again, the truck driver said that everything in the truck was going to my dad. And if everything in the truck was going to my dad, so was this flesh ball. Unless someone snuck it in. Right. Is your dad, like, a doctor, too? Not that I'm aware of. He's a Pokemon breeder. I mean, still deals with living parts. Why with would he want lot. a flesh ball to oh, catch he, people? Uh, he, he does have a PhD, but it's not an MD. He's not a medical doctor. Mm. But, doctor, doctor. Doctor. <laughs> but he does, he does have a very He's a doctor like Dr. In, Oz is a doctor. <laughs> he's, he's, he has a very prominent degree in uh, Pokemon physiology. Yeah. Just, so he's technically a doctor, but he's not an MD. Just saying, man. I mean, it's not that far out of reach that he could be into some nefarious stuff. I know. I mean, that's kind of what I'm grappling with. Welcome like, to I the don't... club, buddy. Yeah, but my, my dad's not, like, leading the privateers. At least your dad seems to be, like, trying to screw their organization from the inside. If my dad's rooting around with Team Rocket and... Flesh Pokeballs that catch people? That's like, you, completely turns upside down my entire life. He, he could have been lying to me. I mean, or they get there and they unload most of it, but then he keeps going with the rest of it somewhere else. Like the Amber Crag portion. Well, because he said that it does go to other places. Amber yeah. Crag's just yeah. the pit stop to where so it gets dispersed out. He might just be getting like a shipment of this and that was unrelated. <laughs> okay, so I think we need to find whoever it is in Amber Crag who would be in charge of unloading the shipping crates. Your father, if his name's on the manifesto. No, I, I don't, I'm saying, like, he would get the Amber Crag portion, yeah. and then the truck leaves the town. I see right, what you're saying. but, like, yeah. Yeah. there's got to be a common thread of somebody who knows that the ball is in there, because if anyone... The Scyther knew. Right, the Scyther knew, which is weird, but, like, which... people need to know that it's there as part of the shipment, and also to keep it hidden enough... To where anyone else wouldn't just find it. Yeah, yeah. Because if the truck driver found it, he'd be like, what is this thing? I don't know, it's just weird. I feel like you'd be like, they don't pay me enough to care about what... <laughs> <laughs> I don't care what it is as long as the check clears. I mean, if it was, like, in the back, and, you know, your dad takes good the front... Right to be. Like, he takes the front two pallets, and that one's in the back. He's not going to go through and check everyone else's shipment. Mm -hmm. Well, we'll find out when we get there, right? I guess so. So there's at least multiple parties that know that w that was the truck. However, Scyther knew and whoever put it there. I guess. Sure. Because Scyther didn't put it there. He would have destroyed it before putting it there. Yeah, so well, yeah. however, whatever, there's two different no, parties. I, I, I'm, we're saying the same thing. I'm just saying we don't know how many people know or how few people know. That, that's an unknown. Yeah, but it's at least two. Yes. It could be that's it, or there could be a thousand people. Regardless, I feel like we're going to need to show pieces of that to my dad. So if he knows what that is, that's not good. Oh, I threw it away. What? Got rid of it. You threw it away? Yeah. It, it didn't CJ asked him to. Where'd you, where'd you put it? I don't know, I just opened up like a thing and I was like trash and... We'll get it out of the trash. We need pieces of it to show my dad. Okay. And I'll think of trash can and pretend to see if I can pull anything out of the trash can that I that D knows is not there. Give me a deception check. <laughs> Deceive! Oh no. I know it's a plus zero. I don't know why. Do I have to roll up. against this? We'll see. Okay. Natural 18. Yeah, go ahead and roll against it. Which is just an 18. Yeah. <laughs> Be an insight check. Uh, 16. 16. He threw it away. It, it somehow in this magical mansion, he opened up the trash, trash can and, the, the and trash it's gone. Into the incinerator. You've seen crazier things. There's a 
There's a wingsuit big tree lab in Milo's <laughs> room. Who knows what this place is capable of? You you just you got rid of it? How are we gonna How are we gonna show him? How are we gonna it explain that? It was a danger that? to your friend. And yeah, his... as a formed Pokeball, not as pieces. And his passenger. His passenger? Say what now? The other voice. Other I assume you voice. weren't thinking. This is my only chance. Huh? You have a passenger? Did you not know? CJ's retired to his passenger. room, right? <laughs> yeah. Hm. He's still lying There's to us? There's something in him? I don't believe he knows. Oh my god. If it's the mime again... I'm gonna be pissed. Well, we gotta let's we gotta go talk to him. Yeah. Given what's happened in the last five hours, we can't just let him. Okay. Well, go to bed. We should maybe that. have backup before <laughs> no we do that. No sleeping. Flashlight in the eyes. <laughs> we shouldn't just go in just us. What do you mean? What do you mean? Like we need to be ready if in case something happens, like the mortar situation where there's like a entity comes out of him. We have to fight it. Oh. Yeah. Just, I'm just we, saying, be prepared, because it's happened yeah. before. We can I think mean, of stuff. To be fair, we're, we're in the, in, like, mansion. the greatest place yeah. to fight them ever. Yeah, we can Both think of turf. things. I, I know this happened. I think of a hadron Put him in a collider. prison! I think of a mind-proof cage, and it's around him. <laughs> it's an invisible cage with no door. Dang it! It worked! Uh, my room appearance has changed okay. since I entered. Sure, what does it um, look like now instead of a cave? It's basically where I am is the cave, but it's just the inside of the cave, so it's very dark. Like, very little light. Oh. And you can see, like, all of my other Pokemon's houses, but they look like they're really far away. Okay. You've withdrawn into and yourself. I'm, yeah, I'm kind of just sitting there, like, Thinking. curled up. Mm -hmm. Going back and forth. Upset with forth, myself forth. that I tried to do that to Phoebe. Yeah. Give me a perception check. <clears throat> I'll Perception. say a disadvantage because you're sitting in the dark. I'm sitting in oh the dark. Oh my gosh. You chose to do this. See if you see me walking with a proton pack. That's a crit. Oh, no, but it's a disadvantage because you're in the dark. Do it again. It's, oh. a, it's a seven. <laughs> oh, you peace. Ah. You peace. Come on. You feel the faintest little tickle at the back of your neck. No pain this time. I'll check, see if that's there, and put my hands there. Careless. Squander one chance, three down, one to go, all alone in the dark. What do you want with me, man? CJ sits alone, no friends nearby, allies gone. Where will he go? when they leave him. What if he leaves first? What if we leave first? Three down, one to go. What does that mean? Find it! And your room collapses, CJ. You're standing in the foyer. As these three kind of make their way out of the lab, they just see you just ejected into the lobby. Hands on the ground. You're sweating. Breathing heavy. Um, I would like a, a proton pack. Okay. <laughs> Plus that ghost. Ray! Are you okay? No. Is something about to happen? Probably. What's well, probably me? I don't know what's going on. I just keep hearing this voice, and it just keeps saying three down, one to go. And I don't like it at all. What were we talking about before we left? I forgot. So There's a companion. Oh, yeah. There's something in you. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's talking to you. Are you aware of this? Yeah. What? You have a uh, mischievous called it a passenger? Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
I assume that's what the voice is then. Okay, I just want to assure you that you're not going crazy. There's something inside of you. Dude, I've been hearing voices for a long time now. Okay, uh, yeah, but I just want to make sure you know that it's not... There's something there's there, something there that, unlike before, was not invited. Regardless, I don't think that it's safe for me to be around you guys anymore. I feel like I should leave. And do what? Try to figure this out. You can't figure this out on your own, yeah. CJ. We've gone through enough already. Okay, well, I just tried to catch Phoebe, and that can't happen it's, again. It's not going to happen yeah, again. Yeah, so, there's no more flesh balls. Away. Yeah. Indecisive as ever. <sighs> we can't even show it to my dad and question why he would want it. They don't even know what they want. You do. You know what you need. I down one to go. I don't know what that means. How far down did you leave it? I don't know what that means. And there's this horrible, hearing? like, nails on the chalkboard on the outside of the manor. Oh, God. As from the outside of the window, there's just these three long fingers. But they don't get very far in. You have Ridgemont Manor's diamond windows. It just says, how God. far down did you leave it? I don't... What the heck does that mean? I don't know what any of this means. Well, it's clearly out there, so you're safer in here. I don't... Yeah. And in the window, you see this very large white smile. Just him. Two red triangular eyes. Not us. Everyone. Oh, okay. Um... Is this... And then you hear a... Don't no, let it in. No. <laughs> Has the door closed for the day? Not yet. Nothing can come in unless it's invited. Correct. They're I understand that. So unless you let it in. I understand it. that. Even what I was saying was, is the door still open? Not How anymore. How close is it? Phoebe I shuts have a the door. I question about the manor. <laughs> I swear to God. I have a question about the manor. Can you invite them in and decree no. they're not allowed to leave? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. If you, they, it is binary. They can grab your stuff, kids. Or they can move it out. We're moving out. Yeah, locking them in here. This one good thing we get, we we have to trap I mean, something in it and then a small price to pay. Careful, CJ. Don't you can't leave yeah, right he, now. You clearly, him. yeah. Do not let him in. He is not welcome. What are you talking about? Is that the thing talking to you? Yeah. I assume. Do I don't... not let him in. Who is him? You see the... Dad? Whatever is saying, with is me telling you to let him in? is Smile. saying don't let him in. So that's not the thing talking to I you. I don't think so anymore. Unless it's a trick. That looks like the grave tender. What? Is it? That's what it looks like. You you guys don't remember? Are you the no. grave tender? Can't hear you outside. Of oh, okay. Can we sign it? <laughs> <laughs> do you do you still trust the grave tender, CJ? <laughs> he never did anything to me that was harmful. Yes, he did. Huh? Everything went wrong. You were fine. Who are you? Find it and tell me. Are you are you the mime? Are you Arlequino? You know my names. Okay. Three All right. down, cool. One That's good. Go. So the the uh, the the I'm I need to leave. What? No, what? you no. don't. Absolutely no, do. No, no, no. Absolutely yes, do. do. It's like what Milo said. No, no, no. If we're gonna fight something, we can fight on our terms in the yes, manner. CJ, you need to leave, but not yet. They have something we need. What? You will get it. Three down. If you get it, will you go. leave? <laughs> who are you? Do you get know what? Get CJ? what? Do yeah. you know who you're talking to? I think it's I think it's the mime things. Oh. Three down. Our key pieces. 
Can we check our key piece? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do I have mine? Gone, gone, gone. What? Who, which ones Who's? are gone? Gone, gone, gone. How did I lose mine? That's so good. <gasps> D's missing hit. Oh, <laughs> I had one. <laughs> so only Phoebe has hers. CJ, I don't have hers. my key piece. Um, I don't either. I might have lost it. I'm gonna go look for it. No! And you look out the window in this horrible purple expanse no, of clouds. No, Oh, okay. I was like, what? No! no I'm not going outside. I'm going to my room. Oh, he's putting and it together. a single piece. Oh, that's my key piece. I think, I think we should maybe put the grave... Bring the grave tender in. Three down, one to go. What? I think we should maybe let him in. Why? Why? Oh, you Cut. would think that, wouldn't you? Baby. What else let can help in. this? Do The mime is inside me. Let him in. He doesn't Wait, want it in. Those are the three, though. And that's Do the one to go. CJ. I know where you keep the gun. Go for the door, and I drop them. Don't Doesn't, do it. If that's the three, isn't this the one to go? Why would we want to... Because Phoebe has it. Yeah, but if it's three down, one to go, why would we give it the one to go? We're not trying to give it the pieces. I'm saying we need to let the grave tender in so he can... Take this out of me. Do not let him in. He just keeps saying, don't let him in. There will be consequences. And it knows where I keep the gun, so it's going to try Whatever to kill you guys CJ if we let it is in. the bad thing. I know which one you like most. I say we listen to CJ. Oh, yeah. Try me, CJ. Open the door. With all this yelling, D's going to come out of his room and be like, what the hell's going on? <laughs> um. You see a, a Gengar. You've seen one. Mm -hmm. New tree, Jim. Outside the window. Big smile, kind of nervous, like, hey. Somebody should hold me down right now. Don't can let I me move. Can I look at sure. see how, see how okay. concerned it is? Don't can let me it? move. Yeah, can I, we have I will, the Somebody hold me down. I, don't let I, me I, move. Yeah, can we? We're going to get like a, a chair. Yeah, yeah, we're going to be restrained. Hold tight real quick. Hold tight real quick. How'd you do? 15. 15? Seems not like overly concerned, but a little like awkward and nervous. Like, hey. That thing He's out like, there doesn't gonna, seem threatening. Can I get the door? Or can I come in? I think we should let him in. I'll I really do. It. I'll send out Mortar to restrain CJ. He never we're, did we're gonna, anything. We'll put him in a chair with, with yeah, restraints. restraints. He's yeah. never done anything to harm me. If they go for the door, they die. But these things have. Your choice. It's saying you're going to die if we open the door, though. 12 minutes and he's gone. But I don't know how it's going to do anything don't if it's inside door. me. I can just invite it in. We don't have to open it. Yeah. If they Phoebe open just to the say the door, word. they die. The door's open. CJ. They die, CJ. I'm standing over CJ and I'm holding his hands down. Oh, we've restrained him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, With we, the mansion. Uh, we can think things up, so we have oh, a chair with, like, is restraints. Enough, though. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm literally, I'm clasping his hands down myself. And he's giving him a knuckle sandwich. Well, here's here's my piece, BB. Yeah. Uh, the two of you started that his journey. His passenger is upset. And I trust your decision i do not what? oh I, the grave tender yeah i don't know enough to have um, any Mistress, sway so thing, i will the thing outside yeah i give it to you enter or no trustworthy or not he is unknown to me and yet i know him maybe let him in don't let them cj okay, okay. who will it be I'm just gonna I'm, start copying everything that you're saying. Should be mortar again. I'm inviting How about it in. Bentley? Come on in. Oh, we drop in. Phoebe and the manor disappears. Phoebe. Dealer's choice. Do it. But I'm the dealer, aren't I? I okay. make the calls here, CJ. Are you doing it? Yeah. Then do it. I did. Well, don't say I'm inviting him in. Do it in a cool roleplay way. Come in, grave tender. There's a. And a gunshot. 